Chapter 3660, One First Star Transformation, the Nine Underworld Island, was located in the southwestern area of the Violet Flame Heaven. It bordered the Devil Sea. Furthermore, there was a Devil Eye located within this Devil Sea that caused countless cultivators to quiver with fear. Legend had it that there was a terrifying Devil beneath the Devil Eye, one that made even divine venerates deter around it. Long Chen had once been offered as a sacrifice by the Soaring Dragon Company to a Devil Eye. He had almost died. Unexpectedly, the thing to save him was the mark of the Ghost Sovereign on him. Thus, even Long Chen felt apprehensive about the Devil Eye. The Nine Underworld Island wasn't far from it, and yet they were still safe and sound. Due to being so close to the Devil Eye and shrouded by mist, the Nine Underworld Island was a mysterious place. No one dared to approach it. It was the Nine Underworld Hall's second largest stronghold, and countless elite assassins were raised there. Those people were like cheetahs of the night, with them standing guard over every movement within that area. Anyone who dared to get close never left. After so long, the sea of mist around the Nine Underworld Island became a forbidden area that no one dared to set foot in. That only caused the Nine Underworld Island to become even more mysterious. Also, the Nine Underworld Island was actually composed of over 3,600 islands. They all possessed different magnetic fields that repulsed and attracted each other, resulting in space being very chaotic there. It was difficult for outsiders to get accustomed to that space. Adding on the mist and the special formations set up by the Nine Underworld Hall, this area was very bewildering. Outsiders would basically be crippled if they entered, their senses thrown into disarray. They would then simply be slaughtered. This information was given by the Huayan Trading Company. But even the Huayan Trading Company only had this much information and had no details on the inside. That was enough to show just how mysterious the Nine Underworld Island was. Boss, why is the path so weird? Making all these turns is using up quite a bit of time. Xia Chen couldn't help speaking up as he controlled the flying boat through the path that Long Chen had drawn on the map. It's just to bewilder our opponents. They already know where we are. Even if they can't find our tracks, they can tell the direction we are going based on our plundering activities. Our target is the Nine Underworld Island but we can't go there directly. We'll loop around. In the other direction, there's the ruins of one of the branches of the High Firmament Academy. I'm throwing them off, making them think that we're going to the ruins to activate the Foundation Stone. They'll then set up a trap for us there that should increase our odds of success in sneaking into the Nine Underworld Island, said Long Chen. You really think our odds aren't good, boss? Zaya Chen now possesses enough wealth to rival a nation, and I have a supreme bone. While you, boss, are an undefeatable battle god, with us three brothers joining forces and considering that we're launching a quick sneak attack, is there really any chance of failure? asked Kua Ran. After the past few days of looting, Zaya Chen had gathered many materials. Furthermore, they had bought any materials that he was missing while passing by the Huayan Trading Company. He currently possessed even more materials than the Spirit Rune Pavilion had possessed. After all, the Heavenly Talisman Starfield's cultivators bought their materials from various major trading companies. Hence, looting the Soaring Dragon Company turned Zaya Chen into a moneybags overnight. After becoming a moneybags, Zaya Chen added a few more runes to Gua Ran's body. They would let him merge with the Supreme Bone's power faster. The two of them also researched how they should proceed with Gua Ran's devil dragon battle armor. By inscribing new runes onto it, its defensive and offensive powers would increase greatly. Zaya Chen was also testing how he could merge the power of the battle armor with the Supreme Bone. 
Once he succeeded, Guo Ran would truly be unrivaled. That was why the current Guo Ran felt immense confidence. Although he wouldn't dare to say that he could beat Long Chen right now, he did feel that at the very least the distance between them was getting shorter. If all three of them were to join forces, well, to use his words, they could swagger wherever they wanted in this world. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to dampen his inflated ego. Whatever he said wouldn't enter Guo Ran's head anyway. Only when he encountered a truly terrifying existence would he understand just how shallow he was. Long Chen sternly said, Our mission this time is of utmost importance. We must succeed. If we fail, we'll never get a second chance, so we cannot fail. Be wary of getting careless. Zaya Chen, you have to prepare some extra life-saving measures. I have a premonition that this time our success will depend on you. Boss, don't worry. Leave it to me, promised Zaya Chen. Long Chen nodded. At least, Zaya Chen was more reliable. When it came to an unreliable fellow like Kyo Ran, Long Chen couldn't even be bothered to explain things to him more than once. However, Long Chen could understand where he was coming from. Guo Ran had a supreme bone, and Zaya Chi had powered up his battle armor. Now, he was already capable of using Long Chen's third form of Split the Heavens with those new runes. Other than the first form of Split the Heavens being researched by him, the second and third forms were gained without the slightest effort. The runes that Long Chen had worked so hard to come up with were simply taken by him. Long Chen even started to have a feeling like he existed just to work for this little fellow. Although Guo Ran's Split the Heavens didn't have the will of Split the Heavens and it was lacking in mental power as well, he did have a supreme bone. With its power merged into Split the Heavens, it was truly shocking. We are not alone, come find us on Google. Zaya Chen had also set up some more runes on Guo Ran's saber to make sure that it could endure the force of his supreme bone. When it came to pure destructive power, Guo Ran was not inferior to Long Chen. Thus, it was normal for Guo Ran's confidence to be so overinflated. If that didn't happen, he wouldn't be Guo Ran. As for Zaya Chen, he was different from Guo Ran. He was someone who had worked hard as a solo cultivator without any backing. Even from a young age, he was already steady and reliable. After what happened in the Spirit Rune Pavilion, his heart only grew steadier. Although Zaya Chen wasn't showing off all of his trump cards like Guo Ran, just from his calm expression, Long Chen knew that his power was definitely not inferior to Guo Ran's. It was simply that he didn't like showing off. Guo Ran had tried to make Zaya Chen talk about his trump cards several times, but Zaya Chen tactfully refused. Guo Ran called him petty, but Zaya Chen only smiled and didn't explain himself. Long Chen couldn't help sighing about it. As expected, mountains and rivers changed, but people didn't. Even after suffering for over a year, in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, Guo Ran's sloppy nature hadn't changed. The flying boat continued to weave across the land. Zaya Chen and Guo Ran continued plundering their targets, and Long Chen focused on refining and consuming pills. As he continued to consume pills, a vast amount of medicinal energy was finally absorbed by the Violet Tower Star. It was already the size of a bean. Suddenly, the violet tower star quivered and its light illuminated the entire star sea. Long Chen smiled with gratification. The first star transformation is done. He he, I can finally summon the seven color divine ring. Chapter 3662 Seven color divine ring in a barren desert. A red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, and violet divine ring quivered, forming a circular rainbow behind Long Chen. This is too awe-inspiring, isn't it? Seeing Long Chen standing there, appearing incredibly majestic and domineering with his divine ring behind him, 
Gil Ran was so envious that he almost wept. That manifestation, this manifestation, who cared about them, were any of them as beautiful as this seven-color divine ring? Even an ugly monster would look handsome and suave with this divine ring behind them. Guo Ran's eyes shone enviously. Xia Chen, can you make me such a manifestation as well? That would be amazing. Could brother make me one and once I attract the ladies, let's split them. How does that sound? Xia Chen rolled his eyes. Had Kyuo Ran gotten into the habit of looting? Could just anything be split in two? Every color of Bossy's divine ring corresponds to a heavenly Tao energy. You can't control that anyway. Even if you had such a divine ring, it would have no use other than to show off. Why don't I just set you up with a giant tail? Then when you see a pretty girl, you can just raise your butt like a peacock and show your feathers. You can write, little sister, do you want to mate? Fuck, we're brothers, are we not? It was just a joke. There's no need to wound me like this, complained Gua Ran. The main thing is that you were thinking that exact thing. Xia Chen was speechless. But I always protected my purity in the heavenly dragon divine armor college, raged Gua Ran. There's no need for you to protect it. You'll stay pure anyway. Xia Chen curled his lips. He understood Guo Ran far too well. For someone like Guo Ran to have stayed in the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College without finding a woman was not due to not having time. It was due to having no chance at all. Do you believe me when I say that I'll use Gong Sun Zi to attack you? said Guo Ran wickedly. TCH, what I picked up, I put down. I'm not ashamed of anything. I've loved, I've hated. It's all transient. Life is beautiful, but not perfect. I trust that I'll definitely find a warm, caring, and considerate woman to share life together. But no matter what, at the very least, I can say that I have experience in this regard, unlike a certain someone. He he. Xia Chen's smile was even more wicked than Guo Ran's. He revealed his teeth. Seeing that Xia Chen had walked out of the shadow of his first love, Guo Ran laughed. They were like real brothers, so he sincerely wished Xia Chen happiness. Then let's not talk about love. That divine ring make me one too. Scram. I reject this work. Seeing that they somehow managed to return to this topic, Xia Chen directly rejected him. With Xia Chen's current accomplishment, Adding a divine ring to Guo Ran's divine armor was no problem. Drawing in all kinds of energy was also no problem, but it would require a huge amount of time and energy. The main point, though, was that if Guo Ran wanted to control all those kinds of energy, he would have to put in a great deal of work. To the lady Guo Ran, that was definitely impossible. That was why Xia Chen rejected his plea. Just as Xia Chen and Guo Ran were talking nonsense, Long Chen was standing in the air, sensing the power that the seven-colored divine ring gave him. The violet color of the divine ring was clearly dimmer than the others. Its circulation was also not as smooth. It was going at a different tempo compared to the rest of the divine ring. That was because the violet tower star had just undergone the first star transformation, so summoning the seven-color divine ring was pushing it. At this moment, a strange sound came from Long Chen's divine ring. A current of lightning streaked through it, and then other energies appeared within the divine ring. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. Seven kinds of energy. So the violet ring represents lightning. No wonder Hua Linger's recovery was faster despite both of them exhausting all of their power before this. Long Chen sensed the world's thunder force being summoned by a mysterious power when he circulated his divine ring. At the same time, Lei Linger was also awoken. Thunder force flowed through the divine ring and into Lei Linger's body. She then directly absorbed it. Long Chen smiled. Guo Linger had advanced a great deal, 
to the point of throwing lay linger behind but now the violet divine ring was like a lightning gate for lay linger even without meticulously circulating the divine ring lay linger could absorb the outside world's thunder force through long chan to slowly increase her own power and recovery rate from today onward lay linger would have the same edge as huo linger lay linger was rather emotional after the battle with all devil chanai huo linger had only taken ten days to fully recover while she had only recovered to ninety percent even now don't rush the violet tower star has just condensed as it grows stronger you will also grow stronger comforted long chen contrary to huo linger lei linger's growth was restricted she only managed to eat her fill during long chen's tribulations and then had to starve the rest of the time after all when it came to huo linger long chen could buy and give her all kinds of flame element ores and flame seeds she had also eaten her fill in the heavenly dragon domain last time lei linger was always starving even as she supported long chen hence she would always get incredibly excited for just a trace of thunder force thinking of this long chen felt guilty he felt like he had let her down but then there was no way around it lightning attribute treasures were far too rare furthermore thunder force was different from flame energy there were many kinds of ores that could contain flame energy for long-term storage but no such ores for thunder force any ores that did contain thunder force would have that thunder force quickly dissipate as soon as they were mined and brought away from their source hence whether it was lightning attribute ores or weapons they were very rare likewise lightning cultivators were as rare as a phoenix feather or killin horn fortunately with this seven colored divine ring long chen would at least be able to provide some nourishment to lay linger this also drew long chen's attention to this point he would have to think of a way to increase lay linger's power in the future all of a sudden long chen's divine ring spun frantically and a terrifying power burst out of it boot just as that power was erupting the violet divine ring exploded returning the seven color divine ring to a six color divine ring it's still no good the violet divine ring's power has surpassed my expectations the problem is in the foundation balancing the divine ring if its power is lacking it's impossible to concentrate seven kinds of energy a solemn expression appeared on long chen's face the violet divine ring vanished leaving behind the original six-color divine ring with that the metal wood water fire earth and wind energies also vanished it was like they had never appeared it seems that i need to reach at least the third star transformation before i can truly control the divine rings energy but there's not quite enough time search novelum come for the original long chen felt a bit rushed because they would reach the nine underworld island soon he was already exposed and it was unknown how many people were hunting him if he were to stop he would lose his initiative fuck i don't care let's take the risk long chen clenched his teeth he could not wait that long together with xia chen and guo ran he flew to the nine underworld island two days later the mountains and plains vanished the world became covered in mist and an endless sea appeared in front of them they were finally seeing the sea of mist chapter three thousand six hundred sixty three trial by fire in the misty area the water was as flat as a mirror and the mist restricted their vision as well as dampened any sounds it was so quiet that it was chilling long chen's group of three slowly entered the mist when they did long chen's spiritual perception was pushed as far as he could he didn't dare to be careless wait we'll enter the sensing range of their formation if we go any further Saya chen suddenly stopped he was holding a formation disc boss 
Gyo ran, put these concealment talismans on your bodies. That way, the formation will not be able to sense us. Zaya Chen took out three talismans. He passed two of them to Long Chen and Guo Ran while putting one on his own body. I can still see you. Is it not working? Guo Ran saw that there was no change even once Zaya Chen put on the talisman. This body concealing talisman specifically blocks formations from sensing you. If you're talking about those concealing talismans that make you invisible to the naked eye, then you'll need to take off your clothes, said Zaya Chen irritably. Really, there's such a talisman? Then give me a few, said Guo Ran excitedly. What do you want those for? asked Zaya Chen questioningly. Cough, nothing, nothing. I'm just curious. Don't look at me like that. Fine, I don't want any then. Guo Ran saw Zaya Chen looking at him disdainfully and felt a bit guilty. The three of them stuck on the talismans and continued forward. Zaya Chen kept his formation disc out, constantly keeping an eye on it. It not only gave him information on the enemy formations, but it also made sure that they didn't get lost. It had to be known that this sea of mists space was chaotic, making it very easy to lose their direction. Ordinary experts would have great difficulty ever leaving once they entered the mist. However, even after traveling for a couple of hours, everything was still calm. There was nothing other than the eerily quiet sea. The three of them weren't moving quickly, though. They continued onward slowly. The deeper they went, the denser the mist grew. Their vision got increasingly limited. Now, they could only see a few dozen meters ahead of them. To a cultivator, that was almost like being blind. It made them feel stifled and uneasy. Long Chen's divine sense was originally spread as far as he could, but he then found that this mist was rapidly using up his energy, so he stopped spreading his divine sense. He just left it all to Zaya Chen. There's someone up ahead. Almost half a day later, Zaya Chen suddenly whispered. Long Chen then spread his divine sense and instantly sensed some spiritual fluctuations. To the right, around 600 miles ahead, there's someone kneeling on the edge of an island. Their cultivation base is between the seventh and eighth heaven stage of the Divine Lord realm, said Zaya Chen. Let's take a look. The three of them stealthily crept forward. As expected, they saw an island, and a figure appeared on Zaya Chen's formation disk. It was a masked and cloaked figure, silently blending into a large tree. He was completely motionless, and his aura was merged with the environment. Without the formation disk, they might not have noticed his existence even if they walked right past him. Is it a sentry? Kua Ran was startled. Theoretically, they were still quite far from the actual important area. Long Chen shook his head. It doesn't seem to be the case. If it was a sentry, his body wouldn't be so stiff, and his blood chi circulation wouldn't be so quick. He seems very nervous. Unless, of course, he has already noticed us. Impossible. I've shielded us from the spying of all formations and concealed our auras. At this distance, it is impossible that he noticed us first, guaranteed Zaya Chen. Let's stop here and just watch for a while, said Long Chen. The three of them hid in the dark, silently observing that person. After several breaths, that person suddenly moved, shooting toward a rock like a bolt of lightning. After that, blood splashed and a human head flew through the air. Another person in identical robes had his head cut off. Long Chen and the others were startled. Were there others like them that had snuck into the sea of mist? After slaying that person, the first person took something and then shot away, vanishing within the mist. Once everything was calm, Long Chen and the others stealthily crept over to the side of that dead person. They found that it was another disciple of the Nine Underworld Hall that was slain by that other fellow. Search Navaloon come for the original. 
Long Chen pressed a finger on that person's head. His soul had just dissipated, and Long Chen managed to grasp a few images. Tablet, trial, by fire. Long Chen came to a sudden understanding. They had arrived just in time for the Nine Underworld Hall's trial by fire. The location of the trial was precisely this sea of mist. There were currently millions of assassins undergoing trial within this sea region. Every single one of them held a tablet. In order to pass this trial, they had to have nine tablets from others. In other words, of ten people, nine must be killed for one to advance. Nine tablets was the minimum standard. Ninety tablets was outstanding, and if someone could obtain nine hundred tablets, they could directly enter the final trial region, skipping all the other trials. Long Chen couldn't obtain much more information as that person's soul had dissipated. But just this much was very helpful. We came at a good time. Take this person's clothes and mask. We'll also join this trial. We'll see if fake assassins like us can also pass the trial. Long Chen smiled mischievously. Yuo Ran and Xia Chen instantly got excited. Yuo Ran put on the clothes, while Xia Chen began inscribing talismans based on that person's blood kai. With those talismans, their blood kai fluctuations would be almost identical. Even the nine underworld halls experts wouldn't be able to sense any difference. The three of them quickly found more corpses and took their clothes and masks for themselves. Then adding on Zaya Chen's talismans onto their masks, their auras were perfectly covered. Even they couldn't recognize each other any longer. With these disguises, the three of them brazenly swaggered deeper into the mist. In order to not draw attention, they split up but maintained a certain distance so that they could keep track of each other. The three of them moved in one direction. Boom! A sneak attacker attacked Guo Ran, only to be blown apart by a single punch. However, the huge explosion made Xia Chen and Long Chen jump. You have to hit lighter. You're an assassin now. Don't make such a ruckus. Xia Chen sent an exasperated message to Guo Ran. This fellow still thought that they were outside and he could simply punch the nine underworld halls assassins to death. His power pierced through the very earth, and it was far too conspicuous. Was that the work of an assassin? Yuo Ran hastily apologized. He had forgotten that he was now an assassin. The last attack had purely been instant. Long Chen and Xia Chen glared at this fool, wanting to beat him. Fortunately, they were still in the outer regions. If they were at the core, they would definitely be exposed. This fellow just didn't think. Most hateful of all, he had actually used his supreme bones power, destroying that person's body, along with his tablet. They didn't get anything from it. In order to avoid a ruckus, the three of them stayed where they were for a long while, Seeing that no other experts had been disturbed and were rushing over, they continued entering deeper. Xia Chen, be careful. Yuo Ren suddenly sent Xia Chen a message. At some unknown point, a strange figure had appeared behind Xia Chen. Chapter 3664 Guo Ren's promotion, a strange figure suddenly appeared behind Xia Chen. After that, a dagger stabbed toward the back of his head as quickly as a bolt of lightning, without any sound. However, the dagger went straight through Xia Chen's body. The latter was nothing more than an illusion. A foot-long talisman two inches wide then spun through that person's neck. Without even being able to grunt, that person's head was cut off by the talisman. Xia Chen waved his hand, and the talisman flew into his hand like a cyclone. It was clearly a piece of paper, but was as sharp as a divine weapon. It came and went without a shadow, slashing through defenses. The most shocking thing to Long Chen and Guo Ran was that the moment Xia Chen was attacked, even Long Chen didn't manage to see how he instantly moved himself. His movement art was bizarre. There was no premonition at all. 
Damn, this movement art, this attacking style, it's all badass. Yuo Ran finally had a chance to see Xia Chen fight. His movements were clean and sharp. Seeing it, Yuo Ran was envious. This fellow was an expert. He already gathered six tablets. Let's split them, two each, said Xia Chen. I don't need them. I'll gather them myself, said Yuo Ran proudly. Take them for now in order to not be exposed. Only a dead person wouldn't have any tablets on them. It would be troublesome to be noticed, said Long Chen. Since Long Chen said that, Yuo Ran took two tablets. They continued onward, growing increasingly familiar with the terrain here. The three of them were linked by formation disks. As they gradually grew more confident, they spread out a bit more and started the trial. It had to be known that assassins didn't fight in groups. Even if they had the same target, they would fight for themselves. The number one rule for an assassin was that they could only trust themselves. The allies beside them might be even more dangerous than their enemies. Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Xia Chen weren't skilled in sneaking like assassins. They just randomly ran around the forest, intentionally drawing other assassins to them so that they could kill the assassins. It was unknown if it was Guo Ran's acting that was simply too good, but other than the first person to try to assassinate him, no one else targeted him even after an hour. Most likely, it was because his display was just too exaggerated. The assassins were no fools. The more he acted like he was trying to draw other people over, the more they felt that something was wrong. On the other hand, Long Chen and Xia Chen had killed over ten people. After killing those people, Long Chen would directly soul search their soul fragments. He finally understood the rules of the trial. This was the greatest trial for the Nine Underworld Hall and was only held once every ten years. It was the strongest and cruelest trial. This trial region had a special magnetic field. If anyone dared to leave the region without that magnetic field, the poison pill that they had consumed in advance would erupt and they would die a miserable death. Thus, no one dared to flee. What they had to do was obtain nine other tablets to protect their lives. When it came to ordinary assassins, staying alive was their main priority. But to the experts, hunting down more people was their goal. Then they could directly advance to the final trial. Other than this trial, there were three more coming up. Every trial was filled with dangers, all with one in ten chances of surviving. If they could obtain 100 tablets this time, they could directly skip the next few trials. That would save them quite a bit of effort and allow them to avoid some dangers. However, all the true experts were at the core of the trial region. That was because they were experts with confidence in their power. They would hunt down their enemies as quickly as possible, as there were only a total of 300 spots available for those who could skip to the final trial. If they were too late, they would not get that privilege. As for the region that Long Chen was in, it was the outer region. Those that had come here were comparatively weak. Their goal was only to gather nine tablets and live. Once they gathered nine tablets, they could leave the trial and attain the reward for passing. After that, they had two options. One was to continue participating in the trials and gaining further rewards, or they could simply give up. They would then be sent to branch halls to carry out their own missions, starting their assassination careers. To these weaker people, gathering nine tablets was their ultimate goal. If they were lucky, they might only need to kill a single person. If that person had eight tablets, they would directly pass. Of course, the opposite was also true. You might kill several people and gather eight tablets, only to be killed by your final target. You could only accept your bad luck in that case. The Nine Underworld Hall's trial was bloody and cruel. However, those that were here didn't have much fear. They had long since grown numb to life. They weren't just indifferent to other people's lives, but also their own. 
it was this indifference to life that let them abandon any fear maintaining a cool heart at all times that would allow them to truly unleash the power of an assassin to put it frankly they were nothing more than killing machines with no emotions contrary to the bloodkill hall's assassins the nine underworld hall's assassins focused purely on assassination arts and the techniques involved the bloodkill hall's assassins also focused on assassination arts but they were more specialized in scheming traps hidden weapons poison honey traps tricking enemies and other things one pushed assassination arts to the limit while the other came up with all kinds of various stratagems they were both assassins but both looked upon the other with hostility the nine underworld hall looked down on the bloodkill halls scheming thinking that assassins should specialize only in assassination techniques on the other hand the bloodkill hall also looked down on the nine underworld hall for being unwilling to use any means necessary to assassinate their targets they would rather use their smarts to save the effort since that was the case the bloodkill hall's assassins looked at the nine underworld hall's assassins as if the latter were fools in their minds assassins pursued only results so they had to be skilled at scheming and using any means necessary but because of the same reason the nine underworld hall's assassins viewed the bloodkill hall's assassins as the scum of the assassination world even an assassin had to have their own bottom lines dirty schemes and third-rate tricks were blasphemy to the profession of assassins an assassin should focus on assassination arts both in the open and in the dark as long as they killed their target they would be an assassin to sum it up both halls from the masters to the disciples were like water and fire if it weren't for lord brahma restricting them both of those halls would have long since slaughtered each other however when it came to pure combat power the nine underworld halls fighting power was a level stronger than the bloodkill halls after all their skills were the result of direct kills on the other hand the bloodkill halls assassins would be forced to flee as soon as they were exposed if they couldn't run they could only accept their defeat when it came to a head-on clash they weren't worth shit however these particular assassins here were clearly disciples their assassination arts might be refined but they were lacking experience their movements were clearly a bit tender long chen's group of three continued toward the core long chen had already gathered over three hundred tablets and xia chen was about the same only guo ran was stuck crying he had killed six people and only gathered seven tablets from them it had to be known that the people that long chen killed always had a few tablets at the very least some even had dozens just as the three of them entered the core region a figure suddenly descended from the heavens and stabbed at Guo Ran's head. It was a surprisingly head on sneak attack. Guo Ran directly grabbed that person's sharp sword, shocking him. This was an extremely confident expert. Otherwise, he wouldn't be attacking head on like this. However, he hadn't expected his target to be able to grab his sword barehanded. When you're just trying to make great content at Novelo, come just as he was shocked, an arrow cylinder appeared on Guo Ran's left hand, and an arrow flew out like a bolt of black lightning, piercing that person's head. Heavens, I've struck gold! Guo Ran was delighted to find 897 tablets on that person. When he pulled them into his bag that was specifically used to hold tablets, his bag suddenly lit up, and Guo Ran's figure vanished. Hot good. This little fellow's been transported away. Long Chen and Xia Chen's expressions instantly changed. It had happened too suddenly. They didn't know whether or not Guo Ran was about to be exposed. Chapter 3665 Heavenly Lightning Divine Pool Several Spirit Runes Flash Endlessly after that a black figure spun through the air dodging six times before one of the spirit runes pierced his head 
killing him. 517. Boss, take them quick. We don't want Guo Ran to be exposed. Xia Chen handed the tablets to Long Chen. That way, Long Chen would have precisely 900 tablets. Long Chen nodded. Although the assassins here were stronger, Xia Chen should be able to deal with them on his own. The real worry was Guo Ran. At this moment, Long Chen's bag lit up and a powerful spatial energy sucked his body away. He then appeared in front of a mountain gate. When he arrived, he saw that there were over a hundred experts. Before he even had time to look for Guo Ran, he already heard Guo Ran's voice. Don't act like big shit in front of me. Do you believe me when I say that I'll kill you with a single slap? It's not like I ran into you on purpose. So if you can't get over it, let's just have a quick fight to the death. This novel is available on Novelum. Khan when Guo Ran was transported here. He was startled and instinctively struggled. Long Chen hadn't even had time to tell him that he would automatically be transported away once he had enough tablets. After all, Guo Ran only had had so few tablets. No one had expected his luck to be so good as to get enough in one go. Hence, Guo Ran thought that he had been discovered and tried to fight off the transportation, resulting in a slight deviation of the transportation and him crashing into someone else. Every person here had their own space, around 300 meters from each other. After all, considering that they were assassins, they had to maintain some safe distance from each other. If they were too close, they wouldn't feel any sense of safety. However, Guo Ran ended up crashing into an assassin, causing that assassin to jump and automatically slash his sword at him. Fortunately, Guo Ran recalled Long Chen's words and didn't use his supreme bone to block. He instead used the sword taken from another disciple of the Nai Underworld Hall to parry the attack. Guo Ran wasn't skilled with the sword and was sent flying. But even then, that person didn't let him off and directly unleashed a killing blow at him. In his panic, Guo Ran used the arrow mechanism in his sleeve, forcing that person back. That gave Guo Ran a chance to breathe, and he couldn't help cursing that fellow. However, that person didn't reply to Guo Ran's cursing. The others were all seated in their own spots and looking at them coldly. They were also silent. The silence hanging in the air was rather frightening. What are you looking at? Do you want to fight? Shouted Guo Ran in front of those gazes. That person continued eyeing Guo Ran for a little bit before returning to his own seat. Once he left, Guo Ran also found his own spot. Only then did he take note that Long Chen had also come. However, he didn't dare to say anything to him. Long Chen was speechless. This little fellow was a master at causing trouble. As an assassin, he had to maintain an absolute cool at all times. With this temper, how could he possibly fool anyone into thinking that he was an assassin? Clearly, that person had taken note that Guo Ran wasn't targeting him intentionally, and only then did he stop paying any attention to Guo Ran. An assassin's nerves had to be stretched taut at all times. Hence, when Guo Ran suddenly appeared, that assassin attacked him instinctively. After this ruckus, the vicinity became calm again. Right now, Long Chen and Guo Ran were three spaces apart. In other words, between the time when Guo Ran and Long Chen entered, three people had also finished the trial and entered. Following that, space began to quiver ever so slightly as one person after another appeared. They were all assassins that had managed to gather a sufficient number of tablets to be brought here. In just a few breaths' time, over ten more people appear. Long Chen instantly started to worry. There were only three hundred places. As time passed, gathering a large number of tablets in one go would get easier. However, Long Chen didn't know if Xia Chen could make it. Fortunately, Xia Chen quickly came. He was number 247. 
Seeing him, Long Chen and Gua ran side with relief. Even as more people continued to be brought in, everyone was silent. It seemed that from the start, the only one to ever speak was Guo Ran. When the three hundred spots were full, the mountain gate ahead of them rumbled and slowly opened. A masked expert then appeared. This was a world king whose aura was transient. It appeared real and illusory at the same time. Upon seeing this world king, Long Chen's heart shook. This was a formidable expert. Congratulations. You will be directly brought to the final star peering heavenly mirror trial. However, before the trial, you will undergo a baptism of heavenly lightning. This heavenly lightning is the highest level reward of our nine underworld hall from our sacred land, the heavenly lightning divine pool. It drives the blood kill hall's people crazy with jealousy. Through the baptism of the heavenly lightning divine pool, your essence, Kai and spirit will undergo a complete transformation. You all know the benefits, so I won't go on and on about them. Once the heavenly lightning divine pool's baptism is over, you will enter the star peering heavenly mirror trial. Perhaps you've never heard of the star peering heavenly mirror, so I'll give an explanation today. The star peering heavenly mirror is our heavenly eye for hunting down nine star heirs. It was personally made by Fallen Day Night. In the past, the trails that we gave you were transmitted to us by the star peering heavenly mirror. It overlooks the nine heavens and ten lands, sensing and calculating the locations of nine star heirs. It is the reason why you can find your targets. Today, your ultimate trial is within the star peering heavenly mirror. The star peering heavenly mirror is a priceless treasure. It can not only find nine star heirs, but it can also capture some nine star heirs and turn them into fighting puppets. Maybe you can already guess it. Your next trial will be to have a one against one fight against nine star heirs. If you win, your trial will be complete. But if you lose, you will die. This trial is different from before. What you are facing are nine star heirs in the same realm. Although they aren't the strongest nine star heirs, they are above average. They perfectly suit your current power. However, you also know that nine star heirs are called the number one warriors of the nine heavens and ten lands. They are fearless. Based on past experience, at least half of you will die inside. You might even be fully wiped out. Be prepared, announced that world king. His voice was icy as hell, like he was truly a killing machine with no emotion. These assassins were the same, not giving off the slightest emotional ripple. According to the order of your tablets, enter the heavenly lightning divine pool, said an expert that came to personally distribute new tablets. Long Chen found that his tablet actually had an explanation about the heavenly lightning divine pool. After reading the introduction, Lei Linger was growing excited inside his body. Long Chen smiled slightly. It was finally time for Lei Linger to eat her meat. There was a path beyond the mountain gate. As they followed the path, they began to hear the sound of thunder. They then saw a sea of lightning up ahead. At this moment, a giant heavenly pillar entered Long Chen's gaze. Chapter 3666 Gorging Oneself They Are Actually Innate Lightning Runes Xia Chen was shocked to see the heavenly pillar. Those so-called innate runes were runes born of heaven and earth. There was no way for cultivators to replicate them. The heavenly pillar soared far into the clouds and beyond. No one could see the end of it. They could only see the runes forming draconic patterns across the pillar and an unending stream of lightning slowly flowing down from it, emitting a violent power. At the bottom of the pillar was an enormous lightning sea. The lightning on the edge of the sea was rather calm, but the further it went, the more violent it raged. As for the area beside the heavenly pillar, the lightning was roaring in the form of countless monsters. However, the nine underworld halls assassins didn't hesitate. As soon as they reached 
the lightning sea, they directly jumped in. They were like killing machines that had no emotions. They simply did whatever they were told to. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. When Gyuo Ran jumped in, the lightning stabbed into his body like needles, and he couldn't help crying out. Long Chen and Xia Chen had the urge to beat him. Others were entering without a sound, so this little shout of his was far too conspicuous. Fortunately, the others completely ignored him. Everyone maintained a certain distance from the others and began swimming slowly toward the center of the lightning sea. Although everyone was wearing a mask, Guo Ran could clearly sense Xia Chen and Long Chen's murderous gazes. Hence, he hastily shut his mouth. When Long Chen entered the lightning sea, he found that the energy in the outer region wasn't very violent. Its energy entered the flesh and soul, tempering their essence, Kai, and spirit. This was the lightning of the nine heavens, something similar to heavenly tribulation lightning. However, this lightning didn't have that destructive will. It was no wonder that the world king would say that this was a place that drove the blood kill hall wild with envy. It truly was a priceless treasure. Xia Chen's body quivered slightly when he entered the lightning pool. His physical body wasn't strong. In fact, it was weaker than Guo Ran's. But he knew that this was a rare opportunity and also his best chance to increase his essence, Kai, and spirit. Hence, he clenched his teeth and swam deeper into the lightning with everyone else. Aren't assassins not supposed to have that powerful physical bodies? Why are they so strong? Xia Chen was shocked to see these assassins continuing onward. He already felt like he was pushing his limit, but they were going even further. The Nine Underworld Hall's assassins are different from the Bloodkill Hall's assassins. They specialize in assassination arts and have high requirements for the strength and flexibility of the body. Thus, their physical bodies are actually stronger than average cultivators. Do your best to endure. Once you reach your limit, I'll have Lei Linger protect you. This lightning doesn't contain a destructive will, so you too can use this chance to temper your bodies and souls. It's a huge opportunity for you both. Xia Chen, didn't you say that your soul energy still has some impurities? You can use this lightning to make your soul energy flawless, transmitted Long Chen. Gyuo Ran and Xia Chen nodded. Guo Ran's physical body was strong, but his spiritual strength wasn't. Especially in terms of his will, he was even inferior to an ordinary cultivator. As for Xia Chen, his will was stronger than Guo Ran's, but his physical body was far weaker. Thus, the strength of the lightning pool's tempering was about the same for them. The question was, which of them would be unable to endure first? In order to not show any clues, they continued to creep toward the core at the same speed as the others. As they got closer, their bodies were in even greater pain. At the same time, a terrifying rumbling sound started to come from the depths of their soul. Even strange sights began to enter their minds. The two of them knew that what they were seeing was nothing more than illusions. As the lightning tempered their souls, it drew out some dredges of their memories. The nightmares of their youth as well as the terrifying sights that they had seen after growing up appeared. There was sorrow, there was joy, there was terror. All kinds of sights appeared in their minds right now. The two of them were forced to resist the disturbance of these sights while they continued keeping an eye on the surroundings. They also had to take the initiative to draw in the lightning. Due to this, even breathing was difficult for them and their speed dropped. However, as the two of them reached their limit, the others were showing signs of not being able to endure as well. Their speeds began to drop, but they still did their best to get closer to the core. The lightning pool was enormous. Even though all of them were doing their best to swim to the center, they were still in the outer region. In fact, there was still quite some distance from the middle zone, let alone the actual core. 
Long Chen didn't feel anything at all. This lightning was nothing more than an itch to him. On the other hand, Lei Linger had transformed into millions of lightning dragons that were stealthily swimming to the core region. Long Chen spread his divine sense, keeping an eye on the surroundings. Xia Chen had checked and found that there was no grand formation spying on them. That was why Long Chen dared to let Lei Linger so brazenly absorb the lightning here. Boss, I can't endure any longer. In just two hours, Guo Ran admitted his defeat. Even Xia Chen hasn't said that he's done. Can you have some backbone? Furthermore, with so many people here, are you going to be the first to give up? Don't you think that you'll expose yourself? replied Long Chen. Didn't you say that you had a method? cried Kyo Ran. That method is for me to protect you once you reach your limit. After that, I'll have Lei Linger help you absorb the lightning to temper your body. You haven't reached your limit yet, so how can I help you? Long Chen was rather speechless. This little fellow truly knew how to be lazy. He was entirely hoping for Long Chen's aid. Long Chen ignored Guo Ran. For this kind of tempering, a person usually had to endure at least three days. Once a person reached their limit, they would faint. Once they lost consciousness, the lightning would continue tempering the body. That unconscious absorption was the most important part. Lei Linger slowed down. We have plenty of time. Don't go too far, or we'll be exposed, transmitted Long Chen. It had only been six hours, but Lei Linger already drew the attention of the lightning beasts at the core. That made Long Chen warn her. The main thing was that he still hadn't figured out the true essence of this lightning pool. If Lei Linger started devouring the lightning beasts, resulting in some problem, it would spell trouble for him. He didn't want to disturb the old fellows here. It had to be known that his main target was the star-peering heavenly mirror, also known as the devil-peering mirror. If something happened here, he would be unable to enter the star-peering heavenly mirror trial. Long Chen's luck was good this time. He had actually arrived just in time for this trial and could directly come into contact with the star-peering heavenly mirror. However, if he was noticed now, and the other side was on guard, it would be impossibly difficult to break the mirror. The star-peering heavenly mirror was related to the deaths of countless nine star heirs. So, Long Chen had no choice but to be careful and had Lei Linger slowed down. Long Chen had Lei Linger first assimilate the lightning runes in the pool. Once the lightning runes in the sea had her brand on them, it would become a part of her body. After that, they could study the lightning beasts. A day later, everyone was unconscious. Long Chen also pretended to be unconscious and quietly floated on top of the lightning pool. Suddenly, two figures appeared in the air above the lightning pool. When Long Chen saw one of those figures, he almost cried out. Chapter 3667 Death Kai This person was precisely the master of the Nine Underworld Hall, Lio Benkang. He actually appeared here. Long Chen's heart sank. Didn't Lio Benkang always stay in the headquarters of the Nine Underworld Hall? How could he appear here? According to the memories he had gained from the Nine Underworld Liuach's soul, Lyo Benking had to stay in the Nine Underworld Palace of the Heaven Gathering Mountain. That was the headquarters of the Nine Underworld Hall. The faith energy of the Nine Underworld Hall's countless believers was concentrated there. It was his cultivation land for gathering faith energy, so he wouldn't leave it for nothing. For this fellow to come to the Nine Underworld Island filled Long Chen with worry. Although he had once slain Lyo Ben King's avatar, that was an avatar that had descended across heavens. Its power was greatly reduced. There was no way to describe just how much weaker an avatar was compared to the true body. Reporting to the palace master, This is our first batch of disciples to pass the killing trial in this generation, said an elder reverently. 
Lyo Benkang's gaze swept over every one. When his divine sense swept over Long Chen, he paused slightly. Just as he was about to speak, the gate beside the lightning pool opened, and thousands of disciples walked in, led by a world king. He then bowed to Lyo Benkang. Palace master, the disciples that passed the trial are all here. Of the thirty million disciples, a total of eight thousand nine hundred and seventy-two passed. Please look over them. Only eight thousand nine hundred and seventy-two passed from thirty million disciples. Long Chen gasped inside. The nine underworld halls trials were too bloody. This was nothing more than one branch of the nine underworld hall, but it already had so many people. The nine underworld hall truly had an immense foundation and power. These 8,972 people had only gained the privilege of the lightning pool tempering. After that, they had to go through the rest of the trials. It was unknown just how many of them would survive. It could be said that the selection of the nine underworld hall was incomparably cruel. But Lyo Benking actually had so many followers. If it was someone else who did this, they would have long since run out of believers. Greetings, palace master. Those disciples all knelt on the ground. The person before them was their god, so these disciples that were normally numb to everything finally showed some emotion. Their gazes were full of fanatical worship. In their hearts, Lyo Benkeng was an incomparable existence. He was their faith. He was what they entrusted their very souls to. They were fearless toward death, because they knew that they would return to the embrace of their god after dying. That was their final home. Lyo Benkeng nodded and smiled at those disciples with gratification. Not bad. This generation's essence, Kai, and spirit are excellent. There have been great advancements in terms of the physical body in particular. It seems that you, Chen Ming, have put in a great deal of effort. There are two people in the pool with exceptionally powerful blood Kai. One of them even has the aura of a supreme bone on him, so it is very likely that he is on the verge of awakening the supreme bone. When the trial is over, bring the two of them over to see me. If they meet my standards, I'll take them as personal disciples. Lyo Benkeng pointed to Guo Ran and Long Chen's bodies that were floating in the pool. Clearly, he had sensed that the two of them were different as soon as he arrived. Long Chen continued to float there motionlessly, but inside his heart was shaking. He already had Lei Linger cover up his Guo Ran and Xia Chen's aura. They were fully merged into the lightning sea just to prevent anyone from seeing any clues. But unexpectedly, this was unable to fool Lyo Benking. He instantly sensed that Yuo Ran's aura was different. Perhaps if it weren't for Lei Lingra's protection, Yuo Ran's identity would have been exposed. Hearing that Lyo Benking might take them as personal disciples, the other disciples were all envious. As for that world king named Chen Ming, he hastily said, If these two can enter your eyes, that would truly be a blessing for them. Don't worry, I will definitely look after them well. At this moment, the second group of disciples also entered the lightning pool, receiving its tempering. Watching as everything went as expected, Chen Ming asked, Palace Master, why did you come here personally? Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon come. Clearly, even this world king was unable to comprehend why Lyo Benkeng had shown up here. Lyo Benkeng said, The star-peering heavenly mirror has given off some strange ripples, and the star-peering space suddenly produced a great deal of Death Kai. That's why I came to take a look. Death Kai? Impossible. I just checked it half a month ago. It must have been my mistake. Palace Master, please forgive me. Chen Ming quivered. It had to be known that the star-peering heavenly mirror was one of the nine underworld hall's greatest treasures. Any careless mistake, and he would definitely lose his life. It has nothing to do with you. The star-peering heavenly mirror's problem has just occurred, 
and I've already erased the death Kai. Liao Benkeng waved his hand dismissively. Chen Ming sighed with relief since Liao Benkeng wasn't blaming him, but he was still confused. How can death Kai appear within the star peering heavenly mirror? Is it due to the puppets sealed inside? I've checked the puppets as well, and there is no problem with them. At death Kai, it's as if it comes from the star peering heavenly mirror itself, said Liao Benkeng solemnly. It comes from the star peering heavenly mirror. Wouldn't that mean its longevity has come to an end? But how can that be? Chen Ming was shocked. The star, peering heavenly mirror, was a divine item, personally forged by fallen Danate. It was used to spy on the nine star heirs within the nine heavens and ten lands. However, it did not possess an item spirit. Due to that, it should have unlimited longevity. Normally, only a divine item with an item spirit would have any sort of longevity. If the item spirit was damaged, or if it failed in an attempt to break through, or if there was some change in the heavenly dows, there were all kinds of risks that could cause the item spirit to die. Before the item spirit died, the divine item would produce death kai just like the spots that appeared on an old person as they grew old. It was a premonition of death. However, the star-peering heavenly mirror didn't possess an item spirit, so how could it suddenly produce death kai? This was something that Chen Ming was unable to figure out. I am unable to determine the reason either. But don't worry, it has just produced the death kai. There shouldn't be any change within the next few thousand years. When the trial ends, I will ask Fallen Danate's disciple to come take a look. You deal with the trial for now, said Lyo Benkeng. Yes. Speaking of which, has there been any movement from that damn fatty side? Asked Lyo Benkeng. That damn fatty he was referring to was naturally in Puda. We just received some information about it. Jai Wuming has awakened dual supreme bones in both hands, said Chen Ming. HMPH, I knew that Jai Wuming's idiot little brother would be schemed to death by that damn fatty sooner or later, sneered Liao Benkeng. There's also another piece of news. Jai Wuming's brother died in the hands of Long Chen's subordinate, reported Chen Ming. What a Long Chen has also come to the violet flame heaven. Liao Benkeng instantly jumped. Chapter 3000 668 star peering heavenly mirror trial long chen sneered inside when he heard this he hadn't just come to the violet flame heaven he was actually right in front of him why didn't you inform me sooner demanded lio benkeng he was no longer calm chen ming was so frightened that he directly knelt on the ground palace master please quell your anger haven't you been in seclusion all this time? I passed the information up long before this. Did you not see Disciple's letter once you left seclusion? Only then did Lyo Benkeng's expression soften. Rice, I wrongly blamed you. I have been busy helping Luacha awaken her supreme bone. Only once she awakens the supreme bone can her body endure the Luacha possession. Then she'll be able to unleash the Luacha race's terrifying abilities. But because of this, I didn't have time to deal with other things. I didn't expect that little brat Long Chen to actually come to the violet flame heaven. Seeing that Liao Benkin was blaming him, Chen Ming sighed with relief. He stood up. It seems that I have to congratulate Fairy Luacha on awakening her supreme bone. The Luacha secret arts from ten million years ago will finally reappear within the nine heavens and ten lands. The current Luacha is no longer the old Luacha. However, she is still in seclusion. Once she comes out, a storm of blood will follow. By then, who cares about Long Chen or Jai Wuming? They can only quiver beneath Luacha's foot. Liao Benking smiled proudly. He had full confidence in the nine underworld Luacha. I'll make a trip and see if I can find out where that brat Long Chen is. 
You help me look after those two that I picked out. If they can easily pass the star-peering heavenly mirror trial, then once they recover, directly send them to the nine underworld trials, ordered Lyo Benking. The nine underworld trials, but Chen Ming was shocked. The nine underworld trials were the nine underworld hall's most difficult trials. Countless geniuses had entered, but the only one to pass in the last three million years was the nine underworld Yuacha. That was why she was given that title. I don't require them to pass all the trials. As long as they can pass the first five, it's enough. The last four can be omitted. I want them to be Yuacha's attendants in the future. But it's up to them if they have that power. Do as I say. After saying that, Lyo Benking suddenly vanished. Yes. Chen Ming still bowed respectfully, even though Lyo Benking was gone. After a while, he also vanished. This idiot, you're going to look for me when I'm right here? Let me just watch your show, sneered Long Chen. Lyo Benking wanted Long Chen to be his disciple. How shameless. Was he worthy of that honor? Just wait. This hive of his would quickly be torn apart. The only thing that Long Chen was unable to comprehend was why the star-peering heavenly mirror would suddenly produce death Kai. Furthermore, according to Lyo Benking, this death Kai first appeared when he entered the lightning pool. For the star-peering heavenly mirror to react so oddly, was it because it also knew that it wouldn't be surviving for long? Another day quickly passed. Zaya Chen, Duo Ran, and the others were still unconscious, and the second batch of people were also all unconscious now. Big brother Long Chen, I've devoured those lightning beasts. Lei Lingber sent word. Hearing this, Long Chen was startled. He saw that the lightning beasts at the core were still roaring and making a fuss. However, when he sensed them more carefully, he found that they were no longer the old lightning beasts. They were now Lei Linger's split bodies. Damn, that was fast. Long Chen was speechless. He had told Lei Linger to go slowly to not reveal anything that would expose them. It would be troublesome to be noticed. However, Lei Linger was excited, and when she reached the point of being able to control half of the lightning pool's energy, her attention turned to those lightning beasts. She was very smart. She placed her own spiritual mark on those lightning beasts bit by bit. Just like slowly boiling a frog, she gained control of them bit by bit before devouring their energy. She then used her own split bodies to replace them. In the end, she came to control all the lightning here, which meant that this entire lightning pool was at her disposal. When she returned to Long Chen's body, this entire lightning pool would vanish. We are not alone. Come find us on Google. Big brother Long Chen, do you want to kill these people? I can kill them with the snap of my finger right now, said Lei Linger. There naturally was no chance that they could resist. They were all unconscious, so their life and death was entirely up to Lei Linger. Don't kill them yet. Otherwise, the following act won't be played but you can place some time bombs in their bodies for now. Perhaps once their blood kai reaches a certain level, it will automatically detonate thunder force. At that time, they won't even have a corpse left, said Long Chen. He he, that's a good idea. I'll place lightning seeds in their bodies right now. Lei Linger giggled. She was in an excellent mood right now. After devouring so much lightning, her spirituality seemed to have increased. She had gained more of an extroverted personality. Just as Lei Linger was placing lightning seeds in these people's bodies, Long Chen snuck his way into the core. He then came to the giant heavenly pillar. This was a stone pillar that was covered in natural Tao runes. When Long Chen arrived, Lei Linger appeared beside him as well. Big brother Long Chen, I've checked this pillar. It contains natural lightning runes and can convey lightning. The lightning clouds in the nine heavens are up above, and there are magnetic ores down below. 
the oars are drawing the lightning from the clouds up above through the stone pillar to form this lightning sea the lightning clouds the lightning pillar and the magnetic oars are all necessary to form this special location we can't take them as for the runes on the lightning pillar they aren't useful to me lei linger told long chen everything she knew about this place so that's the case long chen was a bit disappointed he had thought about taking this stone pillar and making another lightning pool for lei linger however if lei linger was saying this then he could only scrap that idea this lightning pool was a natural treasured land that no man could create all right then when we're leaving destroy those natural runes on the pillar that way the lightning clouds and the magnetic ores down below will be useless if they couldn't be taken then they could be broken otherwise if they were left they would only help raise more killing machines he he a minor matter i can handle it lei linger giggled and got to work on the third day xia chen guo ran and the assassins began to wake up once they awoke they felt invigorated their blood kai was flowing vigorously and their minds were refreshed it felt like they had transformed guo ran was also given a pleasant surprise his physical body was originally very powerful but now it was strengthened once more as a result his blood kai was stronger also the stronger he was the better he would be at controlling his supreme bone xia chen also made huge gains with lei linger looking after him his soul energy had gone through repeated tempering through the lightning it was now completely pure when he used talismans in the future there would no longer be the slightest delay everything would go according to his will the star peering heavenly mirror trial is open just then an icy voice rang out and a spatial gate opened on the side of the lightning sea when it opened a torrential battle will crash down on all of them chapter three thousand six hundred sixty nine giant figures when the spatial gate opened long chen's group of three along with the other assassins from the first batch of the trial silently walked over to it once they were all through the spatial gate shut behind them all of them vanished eh? something seems off with the lightning pool the elder in charge of activating the star peering heavenly mirror trial suddenly found that the aura of the lightning pool was a bit different from before when he got close his expression suddenly changed the lightning pool was already dry the sight on the surface was actually a kind of illusion but then the disciples were still unconscious just floating in the air they had no idea what was happening wake up shouted the elder following this roar those assassins were startled awake just as they woke up their bodies instantly exploded over eight thousand disciples bizarrely self-detonated what is going on the elder cried out horrified just then the towering pillar that stood at the core of the lightning sea shattered countless cracks covered it in front of that elder's appalled gaze it crumbled and collapsed quick inform island master chen ming something major has happened eh? long chen didn't even have time to look at his surroundings before he felt a gust of wind a fist smashed toward him and the immense power was so oppressive that he couldn't breathe Boom. long chen also unleashed a punch a large man then appeared in front of long chen this man was tall and muscular with arms thicker than a normal person's leg he had long hair and a square face and his eyebrows were thick and sharp however his gaze was lightless his kai was like a wild lion at this moment battle intent overflowed out of him and his blood kai was like an erupting volcano with a roar another fist smashed toward long chen Boom long chen sighed inside this was also a nine star heir regretfully he had long since died and his physical body was turned into a puppet even though he was dead his battle intent had not extinguished yet they had another fierce clash 
However, this attack was clearly several times stronger than the first. After this blow, that nine-star air roared, and six stars appeared behind him, forming a hexagon. His aura then grew explosively by dozens of times. Clearly, everything was under the control of the Nine Underworld Hall. The first two attacks restricted the power of the Nine Star Airs, giving the Nine Underworld Hall's assassins time to get used to their power. Otherwise, if this Nine Star Air instantly summoned the Six Star Battle Armor, these assassins would mostly be killed right at the start. Long Chen raised a hand to block the incoming fist. After that, a seven-colored divine ring appeared behind him. This time, there was no heaven-shaking explosion. That nine-star air's power simply flowed into Long Chen's body, and a bridge formed between them. They were capable of sharing their power. At this moment, that nine-star air's body quivered. His listless eyes lit up ever so slightly. You are also a nine-star heir. His voice was rough and almost unintelligible. However, as a fellow nine-star heir, Long Chen was able to understand him. Long Chen nodded. That nine-star heir's face then twitched a few times. It seemed that he wanted to smile, but his face was too stiff to do so. Good, very good. Avenge us. Although he had been turned into a puppet, his battle will had not extinguished. The Nine Underworld Hall had intentionally preserved this battle intent in order to perpetuate a flexible fighting force. To do this, they must preserve at least the slightest consciousness of the puppet. Because of this, the Nine Star Heir also knew that he was already dead. He couldn't control his body. All he could do was slay the Nine Underworld Hall's disciples that came to this trial. This was a huge humiliation to the proud Nine Star Heirs, but he was powerless to change things. This pain was something that perhaps only Long Chen, a fellow Nine Star Heir, could understand. Brother, go in peace. Leave everything to me. Long Chen nodded solemnly. A hint of gratification then appeared in that Nine Star Heir's eyes. The next moment, his battle will extinguished and his body slowly fell. This man that had been enslaved for countless years finally rested. When his body fell, it gradually turned into dust, eventually vanishing without a trace. It. Chen Ming arrived in front of the Lightning Sea. When he saw that it was dry and the pillar was destroyed, he was dumbfounded. He had lived for countless years, but had never seen such a thing before. Look at the star-peering heavenly mirror, Chen Ming hastily took out a formation disk, and images appeared on it. It was the image of Long Chen and the others entering the star-peering heavenly mirror. However, following that, a scene that he didn't dare to believe appeared. The two disciples that Liao Benkeng had told him to keep an eye on, Long Chen and Guo Ran, suddenly vanished from the sight of his formation disk. He was unable to see the situation inside the star-peering heavenly mirror. A bad feeling suddenly rose within Chen Ming. He then saw a sight that gave him chills. All the disciples that entered the star-peering heavenly mirror had just encountered the nine star air puppets when their bodies suddenly exploded. They were wiped out. Quick, inform the palace master. Lock down the star-peering heavenly mirror trial shouted Chen Ming in horror. The entire Nine Underworld Island was thrown into chaos. An ear-piercing alarm screeched throughout every corner of the island. It boot. A talisman in Long Chen's hand exploded. The star-peering heavenly mirror tried to transport him out, but this talisman stopped it. Long Chen then appeared in front of a giant mirror. This giant mirror was floating within space. The stars appeared incredibly minuscule in front of it. Standing before it, Long Chen saw nine giant star clusters and seas of stars below the clusters. The nine star clusters were the nine heavens, and at the core of the nine star clusters was a black area. He could vaguely see something, but he was unable to see it clearly. Below the nine heavens were the star seas. 
he could see a mysterious layer of mist separating them that mist was the wall of ascension the wall which separated the immortal world and the mortal world through the star peering heavenly mirror long chen saw the mortal world's stars had chains binding them search Navaloon come for the original those chains were spread everywhere only a very small portion of star fields didn't have those chains at the end of those chains was the dark area at the heart of the nine heavens when he looked at the edges long chen's heart suddenly pounded wildly at the edge of the universe were four giant figures they seemed to be slumbering beasts moreover behind them was endless darkness that darkness seemed to also be concealing something in that instant the fearless long chen felt terror wash over him his hair stood on end and sweat soaked his clothes long chen felt like he was seeing something taboo about the world it was as if something terrifying within that darkness was looking back at him his heart had never pounded so hard his soul ached with pain it felt like needles were stabbing his eyes and fresh blood poured out of them he knew that he was looking at something he shouldn't see but he continued to look he wanted to know what was at the core of the nine heavens suddenly the star peering heavenly mirror quivered an immense force of rejection tried to send long chen out as a result his expression changed he was out of time long chen clenched his teeth and stabbed the black dagger into the star peering heavenly mirror chapter three thousand six hundred seventy nine underworld heaven merger long chen had originally thought that with the illusion formation that xia chen set up right before they left the enemies would be deceived for at least a while after all no one else would be entering the trial while they were there he hadn't expected someone to specifically take a look at the lightning pool as a result as soon as he looked closer the illusion formation was broken everything was exposed this power of expulsion was clearly trying to bring him out at this moment a black dagger appeared in his hand and he stabbed it into the star peering heavenly mirror with all his might and what shocked long chen was that this mysterious dagger that had never failed to break any defense actually failed to pierce the star peering heavenly mirror a powerful backlash then shook long chen's blood kai he almost lost hold of the black dagger not good long chen had never expected this he had absolute confidence in the black dagger but it disappointed him today however this strike from the black dagger did cause a thumb-sized nick on the flat surface of the mirror seeing that nick long chen put away the dagger and pulled out the minghong saber preparing to attack the broken part however before he even attacked cracks formed from that nick instantly spreading through the entire star peering heavenly mirror this mirror that reached even the stars in the heavens shattered with a final boom a mirror that had stood for countless years overlooking the nine heavens and ten lands was finally broken despite instinctively using its full power to resist long chen's full power attack it was unable to defend against that dagger in the end the star peering heavenly mirror shattered transforming into astral motes that dissipated into the cracks of space the power from its explosion made long chen crash into a spatial wall and cough up blood after that he was forced out of the space of the star peering heavenly mirror when long chen reappeared on the nine underworld island a vast power unfurled and a ripple caused the world to flip waves from the sea soared so high that they swallowed up the river of stars wherever the ripple spread devastation followed mountains were turned into flat land and the mist covering this land was instantly blown apart and during this ripple long chen's body was almost torn apart even as violet kai circulated throughout his body he was unable to stop cracks from spreading across his body the power of the star peering heavenly mirrors shattering almost crushed him fortunately being blown back reduced a portion of the power as he was blown further back 
the pressure decreased. Long Chen then coughed up blood as he resisted with all of his power. At the same time, the primal chaos space's life energy poured into his body, helping him recover. As he was blown back, Long Chen saw countless nine underworld hall experts fleeing for their lives. But it was useless. They were quickly caught up by the ripple and blasted into nothingness. Long Chen could sense Xia Chen and Guo Ran's positions. However, he wasn't worried about them. They were already forced out of the star-peering heavenly mirror before the explosion occurred. They were also fleeing, but Guo Ran had his supreme bone, and Xia Chen had countless life-protecting talismans. At most, they would only be slightly injured. Long Chen was flying for several breaths' time before the pressure finally lightened enough for him to breathe. He then checked his body and was shocked to find that the majority of his bones were broken. His meridians were also damaged. A quick look at Novel Loon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. The star peering heavenly mirror's explosion was too terrifying. It had almost blasted him apart. But no matter what, the star-peering heavenly mirror was destroyed. He had accomplished his mission. Die. Suddenly, the void quivered and a sword pierced through the void with icy killing intent. Even before the sword arrived, a terrifying killing intent completely locked Long Chen down. Chen Ming. Long Chen's heart shook as he recognized his attacker. It was the island master of the Nine Underworld Island the strongest person here. You weren't killed by the explosion. Long Chen snorted and swung the Ming Hong saber at him. Boom! Long Chen grunted. A burst of pain struck his arm, and the Ming Hong saber almost flew away. He was too heavily injured. Long Chen, it's you. After that exchange, the furious Chen Ming was even further incensed. The explosion of the star-peering heavenly mirror had blown apart Long Chen's mask, revealing his true appearance. Hence, Long Chen was instantly recognized. If it wasn't me, who else would it be? Long Chen might be injured, but he was still calm. You're quite brave, but you won't be escaping today, Chen Ming roared. Suddenly, rays of white divine light shot out of the sea, covering this land in a giant heavenly net. Faith energy? Long Chen was a bit surprised. The island was already destroyed, and yet the faith energy remained. It seemed that their divine pool was beneath the sea. Nine underworld heaven merger, divine descent. Chen Ming formed hand seals, and a giant divine platform appeared behind him. A divine statue then showed up on that platform. It was Lyo Benkeng. When Long Chen saw that statue, his expression finally changed. Chen Ming was planning on using the statue to summon Lyo Benkeng. If Lyo Benkeng was brought back, then considering that this was his domain, the three of them would really be doomed. Old fellow, taste my fist. Just then, the void quivered and Gua Ran came charging over, his supreme bone quivering as he unleashed a punch. Boom! Chen Ming blocked with his sword. As a result, milky white light erupted and both of them were forced back. What? Gua Ran was shocked. The full power attack of his supreme bone was something that not even half step divine venerates could block. But the late stage world king Chen Ming had blocked it. He is Lyo Benkang's follower and can use Lyo Benkang's faith energy. He can bring out more power from a world domain divine item. Don't waste time on him. Destroy that statue, shouted Long Chen. Xia Chen was already moving before Long Chen finished speaking. Seven talismans shot out at the same time, landing on the statue. Their runes rapidly lit up. Explode. Xia Chen shouted, and the seven talismans detonated at the same time. The void collapsed. However, Long Chen was shocked to find that the statue wasn't damaged in the slightest. Fools, this faith energy is condensed from countless generations of believers of the Nine Underworld Island. 
it can only be destroyed with other faith energy all your efforts are meaningless just wait for the palace master to execute you shouted chen ming furiously just now guo ran's punch had almost made him cough up blood all three of them were absolutely terrifying kill him first then maybe when he dies this statue will disappear shouted long chen Xia chen and guo ran shot after chen ming together chen ming's expression twitched he suddenly shot straight toward long chen it seemed that he felt that the easier target right now was long chen Dai. as a result he had just arrived in front of Long Chen when a pretty maiden in a violet dress stabbed the lightning spear toward his head. Chapter 3671 Lio Benking descends when the lightning spear appeared. This entire space became a lightning sea. Chen Ming was shocked. He was instantly locked down by this lightning sea. So you're the one who stole the lightning sea? Chen Ming was shocked and enraged. He finally understood that the lightning sea's disappearance and the destruction of the star-peering heavenly mirror were done entirely by Long Chen. Palace master, bestow upon me your divine protection. Protect your most loyal servant. Chen Ming howled and swept his sword out. Faith energy gathered, forming a white battle armor around his body. This battle armor was made entirely out of faith energy. Boom. Touching it, Lei Ling'er's spear quivered and countless lightning runes exploded. Chen Ming then screamed as his arms were blown apart. His sword went flying. But surprisingly, the faith battle armor that he was wearing was completely undamaged. Just as he said, only another faith energy could destroy this faith energy. Of course, just because the battle armor was fine didn't mean that the wearer was fine. He was seriously injured inside the battle armor. He hacked up three mouthfuls of blood that contained fragments of his insides. Clearly, this armor composed of faith energy was not capable of fully blocking Lei Ling'er's power. After Lei Ling'er's attack, Guo Ran's fist smashed into Chen Ming's back. Chen Ming then grunted. His spine was broken and his body curled the back of his head almost touching his ankle. The next moment, Chen Ming let out a miserable shriek. Perhaps it was because Guo Ran had struck him in some weak spot, or perhaps the power of the supreme bone was invading his body. In any case, he seemed to be in unbearable pain. After receiving consecutive serious wounds, the divine statue that he had summoned began to fluctuate, occasionally growing dim. Its aura was unstable. Keep beating him up, and Lyo Benking can't descend. Attack fast, not powerfully, shouted Xia Chen. He flung out a heaven-shaking talisman, and it exploded on Chen Ming's body. Lei Ling'er, Yua Ran, and Xia Chen repeatedly attacked. Although Chen Ming had his protective armor, he was unable to stop their attacks. The three of them didn't give him any breathing room. Chen Ming was hacking up blood, not having any power to retaliate. As for the countless assassins of the Nine Underworld Island, they were all dead. He was the only one to survive thanks to his faith energy. He had no helpers. Just wait. When the palace master descends, all of you will die miserable deaths. Under the crazy assault from Guo Ran and the others, Chen Ming could only let himself be beaten. He had no room to retaliate or flee. Right now, he was entirely relying on his protective faith armor to survive. He was also igniting his longevity just to hold on. But even then, he wouldn't be able to last. Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything else. If he did let Long Chen and the others leave, he would still die a miserable death. It just wouldn't be at the hands of Long Chen and the others. Hence, he had to stop them. As Lei Ling'er, Guo Ran, and Xia Chen attacked Chen Ming, Long Chen activated the seven-color divine ring, focusing on recovering as quickly as possible. Faith energy was an ephemeral kind of energy. 
Even if Long Chen joined in, it would be meaningless. It was enough for the three of them to stall Chen Ming. When an instant's stick's worth of time passed, Long Chen's body was fully recovered. Before the breakthrough, such wounds would take at least a few days to heal. But after the violet tower star appeared, the seven-color divine ring was able to grasp the power of heaven and earth to heal his body. Adding on the primal chaos space's healing powers, he rapidly recovered. The primal chaos space healed his physical body, while the outer world's energy helped him repair the damage to his soul and mind. Thanks to both aspects, his recovery speed was astonishing. Yuo Ran, Zaya Chen, and Lei Linger were still crazily attacking Chen Ming. After fighting for so long, they found that this faith armor was able to absorb and reflect a portion of their power. But at the same time, there was another portion that injured Chen Ming who was inside the armor. A stronger attack wasn't very useful. After a certain limit, the damage was capped and any further power was wasted. Hence, the three of them maintained a rapid attack pace. Chen Ming was already at his limit at this time. He originally looked to be forty, but now his hair had turned white, and his face was covered in wrinkles. His blood kai also withered, signs that the fire of his soul was about to extinguish. However, he was tenacious. He ended up attaching a part of his spiritual strength to the divine statue. By extracting that bit of spiritual strength slowly, he was able to just barely endure. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. At this moment, Long Chen charged into the sky with his dagger and cut the streams of white light coming out of the sea. The dagger quivered. This net of light seemed to be light cotton, and it was impossible to cut through it. It simply bent. As expected, there was nothing in this world that was absolutely unrivaled. At the very least, this dagger was unable to damage this net of faith. Faith was truly a mysterious thing. Even Long Chen was unable to explain this kind of power. Ban! Yuo Ran's fist smashed into Chen Ming's body. However, this time, it didn't cause any explosive sound. Instead, it let out a muffled grunt. Boom! Chen Ming along with his faith armor exploded. Yuo Ran and Zaya Chen cheered. With Chen Ming's death, the statue and heavenly net would vanish. This was Zaya Chen and Yuo Ran's first time encountering faith energy, and they hadn't expected it to be so powerful. A late-stage World King servant had managed to exhaust them just to kill him. If it was Liao Benkeng instead, just how powerful would he be? Just then, even as Chen Ming died, the divine statue was lighting up. Cracks covered it. Aha, success! Xia Chen and Yuo Ran both thought that it was about to shatter. However, the scene that they were expecting never occurred. The statue's surface began to fall off chunk by chunk, and it began to reveal a figure beneath it. Starry Sea Birth's Violet Kai. Long Chen shouted and instantly shot through the air, slashing the Mingong saber at the statue. He didn't even have time to communicate with Xia Chen and Kua Ran. Who? Long Chen's saber landed right on the statue's head. After that, fragments of the statue flew out in every direction. Xia Chen and Kua Ran's expressions suddenly changed. Even as the fragments flew out, they saw a hand grab the Minghong saber. They then saw a figure. When they saw his face, the two of them cried out in shock. Liao Benkeng. Liao Benkeng still managed to arrive somehow. However, he couldn't arrive in time to save Chen Ming. A divine radiance shone behind Liao Benkeng's head, and the world's faith energy prostrated itself toward him. He seemed to be the ruler of this world an existence that no one could even think of defying. Right now, Liao Benkeng's expression was ashen, and his gaze was locked onto Long Chen hatefully. His killing intent rose. You little bastards, you dare to destroy my star-peering heavenly mirror and kill my followers. 
Today I will make you beg for death. Rumbling rang out, and a giant figure slowly rose out of the sea. Chapter 3672 Enraged Lyo Banking, a giant lotus rose out of the sea. It was so gigantic that it filled the entire sky. The lotus was flawless. It was what was emitting the white light, which was the condensation of faith energy. When it appeared, the net of faith energy in the sky instantly multiplied in power. This lotus was the nine underworld islands' divine pool, the thing that stored their faith energy. As it contained the mental energy of countless generations of nine underworld hunters, it had enough power to shake the entire world. Even Long Chen felt a suffocating feeling. They were facing the faith energy of countless generations. It made them seem completely insignificant. Lyo Ben Kang stood on top of the lotus. Under his divine radiance, he appeared grand and noble. The current him was a high and mighty existence, one that made others automatically feel the urge to kowtow toward him. This was the power of a god. It was the result of gathering small bits of faith energy into a soaring tower, and the god stood at the top of it. People used faith energy to turn him into an incomparably glorious existence and then worshipped him, making him become the mental pillar of his believers. He was the light that lit up their paths. Long Chen, you destroyed my star-peering heavenly mirror. Are you really going to force this god to personally capture you? Lyo Benking coldly overlooked the three of them from atop his faith lotus. His voice echoed throughout heaven and earth, and heaven and earth echoed his voice back. It was like the world was supporting him. This god, your throne hasn't even appeared. In other words, this is not your true body but another avatar. A little avatar also dares to be arrogant. Do you think that I am a three-year-old child? It's not like I haven't seen gods before. Cut the crap coming from your donkey mouth. Let us three brothers experience just how powerful a so-called god is, sneered Long Chen. Lyo Benkang's aura was incredible, but Long Chen still saw a glimmer of hope. That glimmer of hope was the fact that his throne had yet to appear. Based on his time with Lang Yuan and Ming Kanyu, he knew that in order for a god to unleash their full power, they had to have their throne with them. Furthermore, in order to use the throne's full power, a god had to come with their true body. An avatar was unable to do so. Although Long Chen didn't know what Lyo Benkang's throne was, he knew that this lotus before him was definitely not his throne. At the same time as he saw hope, he also saw just how terrifying true gods were. This was the greatest difference between immortal cultivators and god cultivators. Other than a bit of Lyo Benkang's own power here, most of it came from his endless believers. Immortal cultivators relied on their own power, while god cultivators relied on borrowing power from countless people. Thus, the branching immortal and god paths were formed. God cultivators gathered countless grains of sand to make a soaring tower, while immortal cultivators relied entirely on their own efforts. Immortal cultivators viewed god cultivators as con men who tricked others into giving them their faith energy, while god cultivators viewed immortal cultivators as destitute weaklings who didn't even have the power to have their own believers, while being envious of their accomplishments. However, it was publicly recognized throughout the nine heavens and ten lands that god cultivators were stronger than immortal cultivators. But the precondition for that was that they were in the same realm. Even so, immortal cultivators had their own strong points. They advanced faster than god cultivators because they didn't need to gather faith energy. Faith energy was an energy source but also a restriction. It restricted the cultivation speed of god cultivators, especially upon reaching the world king realm. After that, their cultivation speed fell even more. Unless you had the support of a powerful backer, all god cultivators who reached that point would have their cultivation speed thrown into the distance by immortal cultivators. Even though their realm couldn't keep up, 
in terms of true combat power, god cultivators were still unrivaled in the same realm. Some powerful god cultivators could rely on a thick foundation of faith energy to challenge people across realms. Thus, the current Lyo Ben King might only be a peak world king who hadn't even become a half step divine venerate, but the pressure that he gave off was even greater than the half step divine venerates that Long Chen and the others had encountered. Even though his current self was an avatar, there was simply no way to compare them. Only now that he was facing Lyo Ben King did Guo Ran understand what Long Chen had been saying. Experts like Lyo Ben King and Inputa were truly terrifying. Seeing that Long Chen wasn't giving up, Lyo Ben King sneered, Little Ant, you dare to say such big words. It's too bad that the Nine Underworld Liuacha hasn't come out of seclusion yet. Otherwise, I'd have her personally end you. Someone who has been defeated dares to come again? Have you already forgotten how she screamed in my hands while I destroy your avatars? Sneered Long Chen. At that time, Long Chen had captured the Nine Underworld Liuacha and was burning her soul. In Puda and Lyo Ben King both attacked to save her, only to result in Inputa using Lyo Ben King to distract the others while he himself fled. He caused Lyo Ben King to lose two avatars. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon, come when Long Chen brought that up. Lyo Ben King's face twisted with fury. That was his life's greatest humiliation. Hence, his anger soared. It was because of that idiot in Puda wanting to spare your life that things went that way. But today, there is no in Puda present. Do you think that you can live? roared Lyo Ben Kang. What a thick face! So you push the blame for last time's failure entirely on in Puda? To tell the truth, I really do feel a bit threatened by in Puda because his schemes are quite sinister. If the Nine Underworld Island was his domain, I would not dare to come here with my current strength, said Long Chen disdainfully. Even as Long Chen spoke disdainfully, he was fully circulating his astral energy inside, preparing to enter his strongest state. They had to fight today. Fortunately, against the current Lyo Ben King, he felt that they should have some hope. If it was against Imputed instead, they would be doomed. Imputed wouldn't even give them a chance to fight him head on. He would directly scheme them to death. Guo Ran and Xia Chen were also tense. They were all in a combat ready state. They knew that they were facing the greatest challenge of their lives, so they didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless. Bullshit! Are you saying that I'm inferior to that damn fatty? Lyo Ben Kang was incensed by this provocation. Although I really loathe that damn fatty, I have to admit that he truly is powerful. He's also a schemer and knows how to endure. As for you, you're an idiot. I don't know why Lord Brahma cares about you. Why does he even accept you as his doc? Are you still stalling because you want to apply mental pressure on me? You want my mind to fracture so you can do a soul search and see my secrets. Ah, oh, what a shame that other than roaring, you have no other ability. To tell the truth, I'm unable to keep watching as an idiot like you acts like some brilliant strategist. You don't need to keep up this terrible act. If you're trying to break my mind, you overestimate yourself too much, sneered Long Chen. In terms of intelligence, Lyo Ben Kang simply wasn't on the same level as in Puda. Ignorant brat die. Lyo Ben Kang finally lost his patience after being exposed. As he waved his hand, a sword appeared in his hand and swung toward the three of them. Chapter 3673 Unmatched, Lyo Ben King's sword unleashed a wave of sword light that covered all three of them. Long Chen felt the space behind him freeze and it actually shove him forward. Long Chen's divine ring rumble. Under that powerful force, his seven-color divine ring exploded and turned into a six-color divine ring. His expression instantly changed. It wasn't 
that his divine ring was unable to bear this attack, but the moment Lyo Banking attacked, the world's energy disappeared around him. The power of heaven and earth was no longer enough to maintain the seven-color divine ring. Moreover, it wasn't just Long Chen who experienced this. Yuo Ran and Zaya Chen's expressions also changed. This world was now Lyo Banking's domain. He was an omnipotent god here. Oh, Lyo Banking didn't give them much time to consider this. His sword fell and the world quivered. Even combining forces, the three of them were blown back. Zaya Chen then coughed up blood. Zaya Chen's talismans required the spiritual Kai of Heaven and Earth to use. Only then would they be able to unleash their maximum power. Hence, within Lyo Benkeng's faith energy domain, his talismans were greatly affected. Split the Heavens Three. Long Chen was appalled. The seven color divine ring had been reduced to the six color divine ring. His power was also rapidly diminishing. This faith energy was gradually shrinking the amount of heavenly Tao energy that he could absorb. In fact, within this domain covered by the net of faith energy, he wasn't able to even draw in astral energy. At this moment, all he could do was state everything in a single blow. A giant saber image rose like a tempest as Long Chen instantly started off with his strongest attack. If he didn't go all out now, he would have no chance to do so in a bit. He would only grow weaker and weaker in this domain. Yuo Ran also realized the same thing and raised his black saber. His supreme bone glowed. Just like Long Chen, he used the third form of split the heavens. As for Zaya Chen, even as blood was leaking out of his mouth, he didn't tarry. After forming hand seals, eighteen talismans converged, shining brightly and forming a blood-soaked phoenix. It flew toward Lyo Benkeng with an ominous air. Lyo Benkeng snorted. Ignorant brats, I'll show you the difference between us. Nine underworld heavenly edict slash. His sword quivered. After that, the giant lotus beneath his feet suddenly appeared behind him. It glowed and merged into his sword before he slashed it at the three of them. Boom. All the attacks crash into each other. As a result, the void splintered and divine light exploded. Long Chen, Yuo Ran, and Zaya Chen were all blown back. Long Chen hacked up blood. He was at the front and endured the greatest impact. As for Yuo Ran, he was next and was also blown back. Luckily, Zaya Chen was slightly better. He was further away and had time to react. He wasn't injured this time. At the same time as Long Chen coughed up blood, Lyo Benking coughed up blood as well. The sword composed of faith energy shattered, and the faith lotus was also gone. After the clash, Long Chen stabilized himself in the air as quickly as he could. Putting away the Mingong saber, he extended his hands. Flame energy then exploded out of his left hand, and lightning runes thundered out of his right arm. Following that, the sound of lightning and fire crashing together resounded throughout heaven and earth. Double dragon destruction. A lightning dragon and a flame dragon twisted around each other and tore through the world straight toward Lyo Benkeng. This attack contained Lei Linger and Huo Linger's full powers. Now that their powers were perfectly matched, they formed a resonance, perfectly working together to unleash the maximum power of this attack. Wherever the double dragons passed, the world collapsed. A giant spatial tear formed in this domain. They arrived in front of Lyo Benking in an instant. Lyo Benking hadn't expected Long Chen to be able to unleash such a terrifying attack so quickly. Although he had managed to block their attacks, he was injured as a result and had yet to recover from the impact. This attack from Long Chen wasn't his own power, but Lei Linger and Huo Linger's full powers. Hence, he just needed to use his spiritual strength to balance their powers, allowing him to unleash the attack quickly. Boom! 
Lyo Benkang was struck head on by the double dragon destruction. His body exploded. As for the double dragon destruction, it continued onward and struck the giant net. After that, the net quivered, and this net, that not even the mysterious dagger had managed to break, actually became covered in countless cracks. This attack's area of effect was enormous. If it had been concentrated into a single point, it should be enough to directly blast a hole in the net at least a dozen meters wide. Just as Guo Ran and Zai Chen were about to cheer over their victory, faith energy flew through the air. They were in the form of millions of lotuses and suddenly converged into Lyo Ben Kang's body once more. Also, he wasn't the slightest bit injured. Guo Ran and Zaya Chen were stunned. Such a terrifying attack hadn't injured him in the slightest. Did Lyo Benkang possess an undying body? Fools. This is nothing more than an avatar. As long as there is faith energy, I cannot be killed. This is my absolute power. Now, do you idiots know the meaning of despair? Lyo Benkang sneered at the stunned Zaya Chen and Guo Ran. Zaya Chen and Guo Ran were truly horrified. They had never come into contact with faith energy. This power was practically unrivaled. Idiot, the main reason you are capable of suppressing us is due to the realm difference. If we became immortal kings and condensed a heavenly Tao crown, then even under your faith energy suppression, the three of us could beat you like a dog, retorted Long Chen. Although those two attacks were unable to cause substantial damage to Lyo Benkeng, Long Chen could see through some of the essences of faith energy. Faith energy was not unrivaled. After those attacks, Lyo Benkeng's faith energy had clearly plummeted. The exhaustion was astonishing. Other than that, Long Chen also realized that the giant lotus was actually Lyo Benkeng's world king divine radiance. The World King Divine Radiance was something that could only be manifested in the mid-stage World King realm. Furthermore, not all World Kings were capable of doing so. It was a kind of recognition from the Heavenly Daos. It was the crown of the Heavenly Daos, the halo that appeared behind the heads of World Kings. It was a symbol of their status. In the same vein, when Heavenly Geniuses advanced to the Immortal King realm, they would also condense a halo. But it was not called the World King Divine Radiance, it was called a Heavenly Tao Crown. However, only a heaven-tier immortal king could condense it. Long Chen had not spotted Lyo Benkang's World King Divine Radiance this entire time. Now, he finally understood that Lyo Benkang had merged his World King Divine Radiance with his faith energy. If the three of them became the mortal kings and condensed heavenly Tao crowns, the suppression would definitely not be so bad. Then, if my true body were to descend, I would only need a single finger to kill all three of you. Your words are meaningless. You can just die, Lyo Benkang sneered. His body suddenly shook, and he shot at Long Chen. However, in that instant, Long Chen mysteriously vanished. When he reappeared, he was by the giant net, just as Long Chen vanished, Guo Ran came flying in. His supreme bone glowed as he punched Lyo Benkang. Scram! For some reason, seeing Long Chen run away gave Lyo Benkang a bad feeling. He then slashed at Guo Ran with his sword, and Guo Ran was sent flying back, coughing up blood. However, what shocked him was that Guo Ran was blown back in a strange direction. He actually arched toward Long Chen. Lyo Benkang, let us meet again. Next time, I'll take your head. Long Chen shut his right eye. In an instant, his left eye turned pitch black and a sinister energy erupted. The purgatory eyes were activated. Chapter 3674 Making a Getaway When Long Chen Activated His Purgatory Eyes, the entire world turned dark. A dark, violent, murderous aura unfurled. Even Guo Ran and Zaya Chen felt cold. When Long Chen opened his purgatory eyes, 
it was like a devil from the depths of hell had come out moreover this devil was overflowing with a desire to devour all life it made people feel an innate fear three flower void breaker a three flower petal mark appeared in long chen's left eye as the flower petals spun the space in front of long chen also spun with it after that the net made out of faith energy had a giant hole twisted into it by dark energy how is this possible lio ben king couldn't help crying out in shock when he saw this even with his experience and knowledge he didn't dare to believe what he was seeing long chen actually possessed a terrifying power that could suppress faith energy long chen activated the purgatory eyes through bai Xiol's three flower pupil techniques its power directly blew a hole through this indestructive faith net xia chen and yuo ran were delighted but their expressions quickly changed Buzz. that was because long chen's left eye was now bleeding it looked horrifying Un. long chen shut his left eye and opened his right eye he shouted at the two of them. Xia Chen had long since been prepared. As soon as they flew out of the net, he activated his formation disk. Divine light wrapped around them, and they instantly vanished. Liao Benking had been attacking Long Chen, but Xia Chen had helped him instantly move to the edge of the net, while Guo Ran blocked him. The three of them then vanished as soon as they broke the net. It was seamless. Lio Benking's next attack only landed at this time, but it was already too late. How hateful! Lio Benking cursed furiously. He had actually allowed the three of them to escape. Looking at the nine underworld island that no longer had any island, as well as his faith energy that was no longer very pure after using up so much of it, Lio Benking's face twisted with hatred. Long Chen, you little bastard! just wait this god will tear you into a million pieces at this moment long chen xia chen all three of them coughed up blood although lio benkang's attack hadn't reached them it had shattered the void affecting xia chen's instant transportation because of it space was tearing at them and they almost ended up in the chaotic flow of space they were injured to various extents that bastard, how is he so strong? Guo Ran wiped some blood off of his mouth. His supreme bone was in so much pain that he couldn't even lift it. Although Guo Ran had heard Long Chen say that experts like Impuda and Liao Benkang were not existences that they could currently handle, he had no idea that a single avatar from Liao Benkang would be able to make them flee so miserably. If Long Chen hadn't broken the net, they would definitely have died today. Lio Benking was so powerful that it was beyond reason. Guo Ran had just obtained the supreme bone and the confidence that came with it, only to encounter Lio Benking. Even half step divine venerates were no longer placed within his eyes. He had thought that only true divine venerates could match him in combat, but now his confidence was torn down. That feeling was truly aggravating and painful. Xia Chen also felt some lingering fear. He hadn't expected a single world king to be terrifying to this extent as well. Liao Benkan was monstrous. Long Chen took out an eye patch and covered his left eye. He indifferently said, There's nothing to be surprised about. If they weren't god cultivators, Old fellows like Lio Benkeng and Nkuda would have long since become divine venerates. Although their realms stagnate at the World King realm, their power is not at all inferior to divine venerates. They have been accumulating believers for tens of thousands of years, gathering faith energy. Did you think that they were doing that for nothing? That faith energy is the result of countless generations of people working together. Those people lay down the foundation for Lyo Benking. Every cultivator is like a tree. We can only see the surface of the tree, but not the roots spreading beneath the ground. Lyo Benking might look like a world king on the surface, but his roots beneath the ground are thicker than even a divine venerate. 
realm does not represent everything. If you view him as an ordinary divine venerate, would you feel better? Long Chen instantly felt a wave of relief in his left eye. The eye patch that Bai Ziyol's mother had made for him was truly effective. This was Long Chen's first time using the purgatory eyes like this. They possessed endless power, but they were different from Bai Ziyol's three flower pupils. These purgatory eyes seemed to only be a window to the dark energy within him. They could unleash the dark energy, but condensing that dark energy into a divine ability would injure his eyes. Even now, Long Chen hadn't figured out a better way to use the purgatory eyes. Furthermore, using the purgatory eyes made him worried about awakening his heart devil. Thus, he definitely wouldn't use them unless he had no other choice. This time, after using the purgatory eyes, he would need to rest this eye for a long time again. After a quick break to recover, Xia Chen brought them through several transportations before they found a safe location to rest. Other than his eye, Long Chen's wounds in this battle were nothing. However, within Liao Benking's domain, he was unable to unleash his full power, resulting in the fighting being very aggravating. On the other hand, Guo Ran and Xia Chen's injuries were rather heavy. Because Xia Chen was a talisman cultivator, his physical body was weaker. So, even with the support of his talismans, he was unable to block Liao Benkeng's power. However, the one with the worst injuries was Guo Ran. In order to buy time for Long Chen, that supreme bone of his had almost been blown right off of his body. The runes on his body had grown loose. Even so, Guo Ran was truly quite powerful. Relying on his own power, he managed to block Liao Benkang's full power attack. That was enough to be proud of. Long Chen spent half a day before recovering. He then guarded the two of them as he refined more pills. This battle gave Long Chen a sense of immense danger. Although he had thought that he had given Liao Benkang and Imputa a high estimation of power, he was still shocked by Liao Benkang's power. Faith energy was practically cheating. The reason that they were able to flee this time was definitely greatly due to luck. There were two main things that contributed to their escape. One was that Liao Benking had only come in an avatar, and the other was that his avatar hadn't come with a world domain divine item. Long Chen didn't know what kind of limitations there were for summoning this kind of avatar. If Liao Benking had had a world domain divine item at the time, though, then even if all three of them had joined forces, they would have been killed with a single blow. If Long Chen could summon his seven color divine ring, he would be fearless in facing Liao Benking's faith energy. But in the end, it was too weak and was suppressed. The violet divine ring was crushed. After it was destroyed, the pressure on Long Chen was like a mountain. It was suffocating. It seems that as long as I can master the seven-color divine ring, I won't need to fear his faith domain. I should hurry up. Long Chen's expression grew solemn. This battle with Liao Benking gave him a sense of crisis. Chapter 3675 Profiting from Disaster Big Brother Long Chen, You Can Rest. Huo Linger and I will guard you. Three days later, Lei Linger and Huo Linger hopped out of the primal chaos space. Two beautiful maidens, one in violet robes and one in red robes, appeared. Both of them were manifestations of violent power, yet their eyes were gentle and warm. They were adorably cute. What surprised Long Chen was that the always reserved Lei Linger that didn't like to speak was suddenly being very active. That made Long Chen happy. Lei Linger and Huo Linger were like a pair of sisters standing beside Long Chen. Furthermore, Long Chen noticed a subtle change in their auras. Their auras seemed to be a bit more spiritual. They seemed a bit closer to the human race. He didn't know if it was due to unleashing the double dragon destruction with all of their power, causing faith energy to end up merging with them. This time, their double dragon destruction was too powerful, to the point 
that even Lyo Benkang's body was unable to endure it and exploded. They had exhausted a huge amount of his faith energy. If the two of them were capable of unleashing such an attack a second time, perhaps the result of that battle would be rewritten. It had to be known that even an unrivaled power like faith energy was broken by the two of them. Lei Linger and Hua Linger were both pleased. Clearly, they also sensed the change in themselves, and they were delighted. Amazing. Lei Linger, a trace of flame energy has appeared in your body, and Huo Linger, a trace of thunder force has appeared in yours. In the future, when you use the double dragon destruction, you might really be able to destroy the very heavens. This was the result of the faith energy mixing with both of their full powers in that attack. Every time the two of them unleashed all their power like that, they would pull back whatever remnant energy was hanging in the air to recover. This time, they ended up pulling in a bit of faith energy as well. Furthermore, this faith energy contained both of their energies as well, resulting in both of their energies appearing in their bodies. This subtle change made Long Chen Sai in wonder. He had been wondering how he could make them merge their power better. Now, their cooperation would be flawless. Lightning and flames couldn't be truly merged. In truth, their double dragon destruction was a detonation of their own energies at the same time resulting in amazing destructive power. When it came to actually merging them, throughout all their years and countless attempts from Long Chen, they were unable to do so. But now, they managed to accomplish it with Lyo Ben Kang's help. Faith energy was truly mysterious. It was unfathomable. But it managed to resolve a problem that Long Chen had been unable to solve for so many years. Just seeing Lei Linger's warm smile, Long Chen could tell that she was influenced by Huo Linger's character. Both of their spirits were connected, turning them into true sisters who were closer than blood. There was no longer the slightest rejection. Big Brother Long Chen, I suddenly feel like I have a body of flesh and blood, too. I can sense the circulation of the heavenly Taoes. I can feel the growth of all living creatures. I can sense the emotional changes in people. Am I now a human? Lei Linger hugged Long Chen's arm and smiled delightedly. Lei Linger and Huo Linger had truly gone through an immense change this time. Their spiritual fluctuations were also more intense, and they were able to differentiate their own feelings. Your people, just like me. We're all good people. Long Chen smiled. Lei Linger and Huo Linger were spiritual bodies. Even if they had human feelings, they weren't really human. They were spirits of the heavenly Taoes. However, they had been with Long Chen for so long that they thirsted to be like him. Long Chen naturally wouldn't be so foolish as to break that dream of theirs. He he, we're people too. Lei Linger and Huo Linger held hands and jumped around delightedly. They truly were like pure children. However, these two children possessed a power that would terrify countless people. With Lei Linger and Huo Linger helping to guard them, Long Chen focused entirely on refining pills. Ten days later, Xia Chen and Guo Ran came out of seclusion. Thanks to the pills that Long Chen gave them, they were fully recovered. It's so vexing. I thought that with a supreme bone, I could dominate for at least a few years. I didn't think that I'd be the one beaten in less than a month after obtaining it. Where is the justice? Grumbled Guo Ran. In truth, when he obtained the supreme bone, he wasn't thinking about dominating for a few years, but for a lifetime. He would walk to the pinnacle of the martial Tao, becoming an existence that all others looked up to. Saying just a few years was to express that he wasn't so arrogant. Even all three of them combined had been beaten by Lyo Benkeng. If Long Chen hadn't used the purgatory eyes, the three of them would have been killed. It was truly an impact on him. You're not bad. You've profited from this disaster. Has the faith energy caused the runes in your body to loosen? When you pull the runes back in, 
they will merge into the very essence of your bones. Those runes will now fully merge with you, giving you a perfect merger with your supreme bone. It'll be just like your real arm. You should thank Lyo Benking. If it weren't for his faith energy, you wouldn't be able to reach such a perfect merger without at least a few years, said Zaya Chen. Really? Yu Oran was filled with disbelief. But when he moved his arm, he was delighted. It's true. I really did profit from this disaster. This arm, Yu Oran jumped around delightedly, waving his arm. He moved his fingers agilely. He found that when it came to forming hand seals, this arm was even more agile than his original arm. It had to be known that despite connecting the supreme bone, it wasn't really his arm. It would be better to say that it was his weapon. He could use it, but not as well as his actual arm. Ahaha, I, you a rat. Cough. Well, I won't brag for now in order to not slap my own face. Just as Guo Ran was able to say some grand words, his recent beating reappeared in his mind. He wasn't even in the mood to brag. Although Long Chen had said that Liao Benking would be terrifying, in any case, Guo Ran had still been beaten badly by a world king without any ability to retaliate. That made him sigh depressedly. Xia Chen, what about you? asked Long Chen. I'm fine. This faith energy really did restrict me. Within that domain, my talismans and formation disks were badly affected. Some talismans directly lost all effect. In the future, I can only avoid people like that as much as possible, sighed Zaya Chen. Zaya Chen's talismans and formations disks drew a large portion of their power from the heavenly Daos. If the heavenly Daos were locked down, then their effect would drop. In this battle, he was the one who had the toughest time. It was the feeling of having power, but not being able to unleash it, that was most aggravating. Boss, where do we go now? asked Guo Ran. Let's first go to the Wine God Palace. Just yesterday, Big Brother Zai Guang sent me a message. He probably has something he wants to discuss. After saying that, the three of them put away everything. Yuo Ran took out a flying boat and flew away. Chapter 3676, Tenth Heaven Stage of Divine Lord After Long Chen and the others left. A piece of news struck the entire violet flame heaven like thunder. The Nine Underworld Island, the Nine Underworld Hall's number two stronghold, was actually destroyed. The Sea of Mist curiously vanished, along with all the islands and assassins. At first, people only heard a huge explosion and didn't dare to get close. After all, that was the Nine Underworld Hall's territory. No one dared to touch the viper's head. However, people's curiosity was limitless. In the end, some people snuck over to take a look at what happened. Following that, they found that everything in that area was gone. There were still some terrifying energy fluctuations coming from inside, and the sea was still raging. Lightning was still streaking through the air randomly, making it so that others didn't dare to go too far. After observing for a long time, people realized that no one from the Nine Underworld Hall was coming to expel them. Their guts grew big enough to approach the core region. As a result, they found that this place had gone through a terrifying battle. There were still various kinds of energy left on the battlefield, and the vast faith energy in particular was suffocating. In the end, people came to a shocking conclusion. The Nine Underworld Island was gone, and the number two stronghold of the Nine Underworld Hall had been destroyed. From the remnant air of resentment hanging in the air, most likely no one on the Nine Underworld Island had escaped. However, no one knew who did this. The Nine Underworld Hall was an assassination organization, so there was no way that they would divulge the truth to the outside world. Because of that, all kinds of guesses ran rampant and the news rapidly spread. Huge waves soared in the cultivation world due to this. 
as for the three fellows that had personally destroyed the nine underworld island they were currently sitting in a flying boat leisurely flying through the violet flame heaven with a genius formation master like xia chen present no one was able to find them xia chen and guo ran started researching various strange and ancient things now that they had nothing else to do Guo ran's devil dragon battle armor now had thirty per cent of its runes set the remaining seventy per cent were being planned but the two of them were still pondering various ideas for them. To use Xia Chen's words, they would definitely create a divine armor that would shake the world. The two of them went so far as to even trick Lei Linger and Huo Linger into controlling the flying boat for them, while they went to the rear to research things. Lei Linger and Huo Linger were quite obedient. They calmly controlled the flying boat toward the chaotic Sar Sea. Long Chen was also busy. He was constantly refining and consuming pills. He wasn't just consuming Violet Tower pills, but also Divine Lord pills to increase his cultivation base. After over ten days, the Violet Tower star passed through the second star transformation, and his cultivation base reached the tenth heaven stage. It could be said that after reaching the late Divine Lord realm, Long Chen's cultivation speed had clearly dropped. His speed was clearly impacted before condensing the Violet Tower star. However, after the actual Violet Tower star was condensed, his cultivation speed picked up once more. Only now did he realize that his all-out efforts in consuming pills before were wasted. His cultivation speed was tied to the Violet Tower star. Before the Violet Tower star appeared, Consuming so many pills was a waste. He could clearly sense that after his cultivation base grew, a powerful energy swelled within him. However, that energy was actually absorbed by the Violet Tower Star. Hence, at this moment, he finally understood that the Violet Tower Star required energy from all areas. It didn't just require energy from medicinal pills, but also his Violet Chi, astral energy and even the energy of his cultivation base. His cultivation base increased slower than before because the Violet Tower Star was waiting to devour it. Now that everything was present, it was all for nourishing the Violet Tower Star. In other words, all of Long Chen's power essentially resided within the Violet Tower Star. Even as he made breakthroughs, he didn't sense his own power rising much. However, he didn't mind. He knew that the nine-star hegemon body art would give him a payback that made it all worth it. His spiritual Yuan was no longer so useful. In comparison, it was his violet Kai that was more important. Against ordinary experts, his spiritual Yuan was more than enough to deal with them. But against powerful enemies, he would use his violet Kai. Other than his violet Kai and spiritual Yuan, there was also his physical power, astral energy, flame energy, thunder force, and other energies. He had plenty of trump cards. Although they had been beaten badly by Lyo Ben King this time, he wasn't dejected. He actually felt even more confident. As long as he could master the seven color divine ring, then even within a faith domain, he would be able to fight. He had the utmost confidence in the nine-star hegemon body art. Furthermore, Long Chen had a premonition that the Violet Tower Star would probably only go through the complete nine-star transformations once he advanced to the Immortal King realm. Then, with the seven-star battle armor, he would have unimaginable power. Without advancing to the Immortal King realm, the power of the seven-star battle armor would probably blast him apart. Back then, that mysterious voice had told him that he wouldn't be able to draw in astral energy before condensing the seventh star. But he had used his own method to draw down astral energy. It could be said that he had brazenly taken a step forward in this regard. Furthermore, the voice also said that if he used astral energy, he would draw the attention of his enemies. Long Chen now knew that this most likely referred to the star-peering heavenly mirror. However, 
he had actually drawn in astral energy without the star peering heavenly mirror noticing him that also proved that due to changing the cultivation path of the nine star hegemon body art even something like the star peering heavenly mirror was unable to sense that he was a nine star heir although he was a nine star heir his cultivation path had deviated from the original path if even the star peering heavenly mirror was unable to sense him that was enough proof originally according to the cultivation of the normal nine star heirs his seventh star should awaken in the divine lord realm but based on his current situation that was not possible the violet tower star had only gone through the second star transformation but he could already sense that it contained a terrifying power with his current physical body there was no way he could use the seven star battle armor in the divine lord realm hence he had given up on thinking about summoning the seven star battle armor within the divine lord realm but even if he couldn't summon the seven star battle armor the seven color divine ring should be no problem he had summoned the seven color divine ring although it was destroyed by lyo benking's faith domain that was because the seven color divine ring was still too tender now long chen had gone through the second star transformation and the violet divine ring's aura had strengthened by multiple times long chen himself didn't know what kind of changes the seven color divine ring would go through once he went through all nine star transformations to sum it up this battle didn't deject long chen he was confident in the limitless potential of the nine star hegemon body art days later after constant twists and turns long chen's flying boat once more descended upon the chaotic star sea the soaring dragon company rebuilt their treasuries brothers let's plunder them again Guo ran and xia chen's eyes lit up like bandits when they saw the soaring dragon company chapter three thousand six hundred seventy seven traumatized bastards you got em bastards you dare to plunder my soaring dragon company just wait an expert from the soaring dragon company let out a hysterical cry they had just been plundered by long chen a couple of months ago it had been over two months so they had thought that it was over and they could rebuild starting over but then xia chen and kuo ram once more plundered them seeing the treasures that they had prepared with a great deal of effort be taken away just like this their hearts were dripping blood they cursed furiously fools we're only plundering you because we like you just be happy that we're choosing to loot you Gua ran actually returned a disdainful look after snatching their treasury be happy that expert almost passed out from anger he pointed at Xia Chen and Guo Ran, howling, If you have butts, report your names. Nope. I'd rather piss you off. Guo Ran was just about to say his little verse when Xia Chen dragged him away. After all, they wanted to keep harvesting this plump harvest. If they knew that Long Chen had returned to the chaotic Star Sea, the other strongholds of the Soaring Dragon Company would immediately move their treasuries. If they didn't say who they were, perhaps the Soaring Dragon Company would get to harvest some more treasures for them. But if their status was exposed, this harvest would be gone. Just wait, our Soaring Dragon Company isn't so easy to bully, shouted the expert. Regretfully, a little third heaven stage world king was unable to retaliate in front of Guo Ran and Xia Chen. He could only watch as the two of them laughed and took their treasury. They continued on their way, looting what they could. But on the eighth stronghold, they ended up with nothing. Then they continued to end up empty. Clearly, the Soaring Dragon Company wasn't so foolish as to just let them continue plundering. They moved away their treasuries not giving Long Chen and the others a chance to plunder them. Not only did Guo Ran and Xia Chen end up with nothing, but there were also experts lying in wait for them. However, those experts were nothing more than mid-stage world kings, and they were powerless to do anything to them. As a result, 
Zaya, Chen, and Guo Ran also entered the Soaring Dragon Company's wanted list. This was the new bait news to strike the chaotic star sea after Long Chen. People found it shocking but also funny. Before this, Long Chen had practically swept through the entire chaotic star sea plundering the Soaring Dragon Company. That wave had just passed, and they hadn't even caught Long Chen. But just as things calmed down and Long Chen left, the Soaring Dragon Company's new stuff was stolen by these two bandits. Just what kind of calamity had the Soaring Dragon Company provoked? They are now too scared of being looted. Stop wasting the effort. Let's go to the Huayun Trading Company. Long Chen knew that the Soaring Dragon Company would be too scared, and he wouldn't get any ill-gotten gains during this time. Through multiple transportations, they directly arrived at the Yu Prefecture. The Yu Prefecture could be said to be the safest prefecture within the chaotic Star Sea, as well as the most prosperous prefecture. That was because the Yu Prefecture was overseen by the Huayan Trading Company, so it was the safest place in the chaotic Star Sea. Long Chen went directly to the headquarters of the Huayan Trading Company. Aha, President Kai Fang, it's been a long time. Your grace and beauty only continue to grow. Long Chen greeted Kai Fang with a laugh. He felt particularly close with the Huayan Trading Company's people. He could have no misgivings while talking to them. Mr. Long Chen is praising me. An old woman like me? You're making flowers bloom in my heart. Last time, Mr. Long Chen left without a word. So I've been worried about you. How have you been? asked Kai Fang with a smile. I suppose I've been all right. Thanks to your blessing, I've managed to make a bit of wealth. I'm preparing to sell this loot, I mean, this wealth here, said Long Chen. Although Kai Fang also knew that the things in Long Chen's hands were not obtained through proper channels, in the end, the Huayan Trading Company was a business with its own reputation. He couldn't directly say that he was disposing of stolen goods. Long Chen then introduced Yuo Ran and Zaya Chen to Kai Fang. He also had them give a list of what they urgently needed at this time. After that, they handed over all the treasures that they had plundered during this time, only leaving what they needed for their research. They had a clearance sale of everything else. Kai Fang had previously helped Long Chen do the same thing and had experience in this regard. Hence, she didn't say anything about it. She simply smiled and had people take an inventory of the loot. She also gave orders for her people to help gather the things on their lists. Gathering all of those treasures would probably take some time. So, Long Chen bade her farewell and brought the two of them to the Wine God Palace. When they arrived at the Wine God Palace and saw the sign board on top of the gate, Guo Ran and Zia Chen both sighed. It was a sigh of recollection. I wonder how everyone is. Guo Ran looked at the Wine God Palace and thought of the martial heaven continent. When he thought of his family, his eyes reddened. Zia Chen was the same. Don't worry, they are definitely doing better than us. Once us brothers reach the peak, we can reunite with everyone. At that time, this world will have no more battles, no more grief. Long Chen patted their shoulders. The two of them nodded. They had heard that Long Chen had seen the Martial Heaven Continent's people alive. They were in a new world, a world better than the Martial Heaven Continent. Upon entering the Wine God Palace, Long Chen felt like he had returned to his own home. He smiled and waved at the Wine God Palace's disciples, introducing them to his brothers. When these disciples greeted them enthusiastically, Guo Ran and Zia Chen both felt warm. The Wine God Palace's enthusiasm toward them was sincere, and these disciples' gazes were pure. They wouldn't look down on them due to cultivation base status or background. It was as if their eyes could see through a person's inner heart. They were people with magnanimous hearts. Sometimes a single gaze could convey everything. 
This place was far away from the immortal world's fighting. It was a pure land where people could put down their defenses. They could be free and at ease. That feeling was incredibly rare, so Zaya Chen and Guo Ran instantly fell in love with this place, wishing to stay a lifetime here. Quite a few disciples immediately came to drag them away to appraise wine. They knew that Long Chen didn't know how to make wine, yet he was an expert at tasting wine. But Long Chen tactfully declined all of them with his thanks. Brother Long Chen, you finally arrived. If you still didn't come, I'd have been forced to go find you. Something major is coming. It's a huge opportunity, and if you miss it, you'll regret it for a lifetime. Before Long Chen arrived at Zayag Yuang's abode, Zayag Yuang's voice already rang out. He had long since been waiting for them at his door. Chapter 3678 Heavenly Talisman Refines The Heart Junior Brother Yuo Ran Greets Big Brother Big Brother, I've long since heard about your great name. Yuo Ran was extremely emotional to see Zaya Yuhong at Hero, whose name had shaken the world. It had to be known that Zaya Yuong was a peerless hero in the Old Devil Star Field, a figure of legends and miracles. How could Guo Ran not be emotional to meet him? Guo Ran had only worshipped a few figures in this lifetime, and Zaya Yuhong was one of them. Most exciting of all was that this legendary figure was actually his boss's brother. Then wouldn't that mean that he was also his brother? That was a huge honor for him. If the old Devil Star Fields people were to learn that he was brothers with Zaya Yuhong, wouldn't they view him like a god? Just how glorious would that be? Then you have some face. When you ascended to the old Devil Star Field, you were already this old. Just how long has it been? Demanded Long Chen. You can't put it that way. After ascending, I feel like his space grew even bigger than before, supplemented Zaya Chen. Ah, oh. Zaya Yuhong laughed. It's rare to have such good brothers. Come and drink some wine. Hee hee, many thanks, big brother. Yuo Ran was delighted to be called brother by Zaya Yuhong. That was essentially recognizing them, so he was overjoyed. Zaya Chen respectfully bowed toward Zaya Yuhong and called him big brother before entering his little hut. The four of them sat down. Zaya Yuhong then appraised Zaya Chen and nodded, a trace of admiration appearing in his eyes. Not bad, not bad. Your soul energy is flawless. You've already entered a state of natural being. I have only met less than a handful of masters on the talisman Tao who could reach this step at such a young age. What level of heavenly talisman refines the heart have you reached? As soon as Zaya Yuhong asked him that, Zaya Chen felt even greater veneration for him. It had to be known that even within the heavenly talisman star field, not many people knew of heavenly talisman refines the heart. Even Gongsen Xuan was unaware of it. It was a kind of mental realm. There were a total of nine levels, and this realm was differentiated by the heavenly Taoists. Only someone whose mental realm had reached that level would understand it. Heavenly talisman refines the heart was an inexplicable law of the heavenly Taoists. If you reached it, you would naturally understand. If you didn't reach it, explaining it would have no meaning. For Zayed Yuhong to mention it meant that he had also reached that realm. Although he wasn't a talisman cultivator, this was what it meant for all ten thousand Daos to reach the same place. The height that he had reached allowed him to see more things. Junior brother is foolish. Currently, I am only at the third level. I have not managed to pass the fourth level, said Zaya Chen shamefully. Zaya Yuong looked at him, and suddenly laughed. You haven't done heavenly talisman refines the heart recently, have you? Yes. Junior brother's mind has not been calm lately, so I haven't tried it. Zaya Chen nodded. If you try, you will find that you can easily pass. You have passed that emotional obstacle, and you have seen through it clearly. 
the fourth level can be easily passed said zayed yu hong for zayed yu hong to say this even long chen was stunned zayed yu hong's sharp vision seemed to be able to see through everything many thanks for the reminder big brother junior brother will try it later zaya chen was amazed as expected of a legendary figure his perception was absolutely terrifying nothing could be concealed from him big brother you're so godly can you read this junior brother's fate will junior brother soon rise and stand out above all others seeing zaya guhan turned to him Gyuo ran immediately smiled brightly Zaya Hong smiled. You are a slacker, and you always think of taking shortcuts. It is fated that you will have difficulty ever standing out. However, you are quite smart. Knowing that you are a vine, you wrapped yourself around a large tree with limitless potential. You will rise with the tree. As long as you continue to follow the tree, you will also see the same scenery, the light and warmth. With the smallest price, you will obtain the greatest glory. He he, big brother, you really are amazing. You instantly saw through junior brother's thoughts. Gyuo Ran laughed mischievously. He didn't feel any sense of shame. He was pleased with himself, treating these words as praise. That's because I also had a junior brother like you by my side back in the day, side Zayed Yuong. Where is he now? Is he seeing endless scenes of glory? asked Kyo Ran. No, he can no longer see anything. In order to save his big sister, he died at the hands of the old devil race. That year, he was only nineteen. Zaya Hong seemed to sink into his memories, pain appearing in his eyes. Are you talking about the demon forging genius Liuo Zijun? Liuo Kinging's little brother asked Kyo Ran, feeling startled. Correct. And someone whose forging talent was not at all inferior to King Ying, but refused to put in the effort. He spent all day studying odd things, pursuing some dream of instantly ascending to the heavens in one go. He really was similar to you. Zaya Yuhong looked at Kyo Ran. Only then did Zaya Chen and Long Chen learn that Liuo King Ying had a little brother, and that he was Zai Yuong's brother in law. Big brother, I'm sorry. Yuo Ran instantly felt embarrassed to have dragged out something so painful to Zai Yuong. Zai Yuong shook his head. It's fine. Everything is in the past. Furthermore, you've all done very well. You killed the old devil race and sealed the channel. Things that we were unable to accomplish back in the day were accomplished by you that means that you're even stronger than us from back then big brother you know of it long chen was surprised the old devil starfield was still locked in seclusion no the old devil starfield is a place that hurt my heart i naturally will keep an eye on it to tell the truth whenever i looked at it I wanted to see how those fools destroy themselves. But you led the human race to victory. Now I understand why King Ying didn't let me avenge her. I thought that it was for her family, but now I know. It was for me. She knew that my fury would not just befall the Luo clan. I would also kill the people who condemned me, leading the human race of the old devil Starfield to destruction. Perhaps back then my actions were understandable, repaying enmity with enmity, kindness with kindness. But my actions were unable to hold up to the passage of time. When it comes to vision, I'm far from reaching King Ying's level. She sees further than me. She didn't let me avenge her for the human race and for myself. The reason I can understand now is because of you, Long Chen. I now understand what King Yi was thinking. Long Chen, you are more outstanding than me. Zaya Guang looked at Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head with a bitter smile. In your eyes, you think that my actions are correct. But perhaps thousands or tens of thousands of years in the future, these actions will no longer be considered correct. Big brother, you overestimate me. 
To tell the truth, I just do whatever I feel like. As for right or wrong, I'll leave it to others and history to judge. I'm just going to worry about myself. For Zayed Yu Hong to praise him like this, Long Chen was feeling ashamed. How were his actions based on foresight? It was still the same old thing. Look indifferently on life and death, and just fight whoever tried to block him. Who cared about right or wrong? That's right, big brother. Wasn't there something urgent you were looking for me for? Asked Long Chen. Zayed Yuang then turned serious and nodded. The great prophet has prophesied that in one month, the entrance to the three thousand worlds will open. This is a rare golden age that appears only once every million years. You cannot miss it. Chapter 3679, 3000 Worlds, 3000 Worlds Long Chen, Zaya Chen, and Guo Ran all had no idea what this place was. Zaya Guhang explained, the 3000 worlds are worlds floating on a current, moving throughout the nine heavens. The surface is almost parallel to the violet flame heaven. Also, the three thousand worlds are existences from the primal chaos era. Due to their constant movement, the tribulation from the desolate era did not reach them. In them, the laws of the three thousand worlds were not destroyed, and it also preserved the primal chaos energy, which is extremely sparse in the violet flame heaven now. This primal chaos energy is what you need the most urgently right now. Almost anyone who advances to the immortal king realm within the three thousand worlds will condense a heavenly Tao crown. Furthermore, the heavenly Tao crowns are split between bronze, silver, gold, dark gold, and violet gold. If you want to resist the suppression of faith energy, you will need at least a dark gold heavenly Tao crown. Big Brother, you also know about what happened on the Nine Underworld Island? Asked Long Chen, feeling shocked. I don't know. But based on the injury to your eye, I can guess what you did. To be able to break a faith net in the Divine Lord realm, perhaps you are the only person capable of it. It's nothing surprising, said Zayed Yu Hong with a smile. The Wine God Palace appeared to be isolated from the rest of the world but it also seemed as if they were aware of every single thing that occurred in the outside world. Everyone can condense a heavenly Tao crown? Then won't everyone be competing in the three thousand worlds? Asked Gyo Ran. That is correct, and it's not only limited to the violet flame heavens people, either. Many heavenly geniuses will come across heavens. They won't give up this chance. When the time comes, Ten thousand races will descend upon the violet flame heaven. There will be countless heavenly geniuses. Demons, devils, ghosts, and monsters will all appear. Some particular fellows that have been sealed for countless years will also come out. When that happens, the very heavens of the violet flame heaven will change. The Tao protectors of those monsters will also come with them. The reason I summoned you was because I'm worried about you encountering those monsters. It's because I'm worried that once your temper explodes and you kill those monsters, you will make those Tao protectors interfere. Those fellows will come from powerful races and have no misgivings. Some are also natural enemies of the human race. I don't want you to end up being at a disadvantage, said Zai Yuan. Upon hearing this, Long Chen's heart warmed. This feeling of having a big brother looking after him was truly a blessing. Big brother, are you saying that great chaos is about to descend upon the violet flame heaven? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Some old monsters have started to silently infiltrate the violet flame heaven. That means that they have also read the lines of fate and foreseen the general time of the gate's opening. More and more experts will come from all kinds of races and powers. When that moment comes, heavenly geniuses will be as common as dogs. A battle will be difficult to avoid. If there's a battle, there will be casualties, and if there are casualties, there will be enmity. 
and enmities are repaid with blood the violet flame heaven will be like a giant ball of gunpowder the slightest spark will cause everything to explode in order to protect their own heavenly geniuses their protectors will all be old monsters with your current power you will only be able to flee in front of them you might not even have a chance to get away you cannot be careless warned zayek yuhong long chen nodded obediently i won't be careless this time us three brothers were beaten badly by Lyo Benke. We don't dare to mess around again. Hearing that, Zayag Yuhan laughed. Your guts are already big enough. You actually dared to run to the Nine Underworld Island. That is where the Nine Underworld Hall's faith energy is strongest other than the Heaven Gathering Mountain. Lyo Benke had the support of that much faith energy, and most divine venerates would have to flee from him. Hence, for you to live proves your power. If news of that spread, it will definitely shake the violet flame heaven. Guo ran in Zayachen felt much better after hearing that. If even most divine venerates weren't a match for Lyo Benking in that state, their wretched defeat wasn't embarrassing. Big brother, do you know of the star peering heavenly mirror? asked Long Chen. I do. Long Chen was startled. For Zayag Yuhong to make such a curt response, it seemed that the star-peering heavenly mirror involved a lot of taboo topics. He didn't dare to randomly discuss it. Then, after it is broken, can it be repaired? Or can he build a new star-peering heavenly mirror? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen didn't even mention Fallen Day Knight's name. He was rather subtle. Repairing it is impossible. As for rebuilding a new one, it is impossible without ten thousand years of effort, said Zai Yu Hong. He he could. Long Chen was relieved. Ten thousand years? They might as well not even try rebuilding it. This way, all the nine star heirs throughout the nine heavens and ten lands could grow freely. Thinking of how they would no longer be prey to be slaughtered, Long Chen felt like everything was worth it. It could be said that his trip to the Nine Underworld Island had been more than just dangerous. Thinking about it carefully, he had been very lucky. He didn't know if he had benefited from Zaya Chen and Kyo Ran's luck, but things had gone surprisingly smoothly. Furthermore, they even managed to flee thanks to the two of them. Without them, even if Long Chen had managed to destroy the star-peering heavenly mirror, he wouldn't have been able to escape alive. All this time, he had always been fighting alone. Now that he had found his brothers again, he felt that there was nothing that they couldn't do together. It truly was good to have his brothers back. Long Chen wanted to ask more about the Three Thousand Worlds, but Zai Yuang didn't reveal much. He only said that Long Chen would naturally understand once he entered. He knew that Zaya Guhong refused to speak for his own benefit. Any major secrets relating to the heavenly Daos could not be randomly discussed. Accumulating that much karma was not good. Navalun come in the next few days. Long Chen accompanied Zaya Chen and Guo Ran. Other than cultivation, they went to pay their respects to the wine god palace's experts. They drank all kinds of wine. When Guo Ran and Zaya Chen saw that winged devil expert, they jumped just like Long Chen had back then. Long Chen wanted to pay his respects to the high priest this time, but he found that the high priest had left on a wandering trip, so he only stayed within the wine god palace. Half a month passed quickly. Long Chen's cultivation ace reached the eleventh heaven stage. As for his aura, it didn't change, but the violet tower star had gone through a shocking upgrade. It actually reached the fifth star transformation. The speed stunned even Long Chen. However, that also proved that the violet tower star's nine star transformations were related to his cultivation base. His seven-color divine ring was now completely stable. Although the violet divine ring was clearly a bit dimmer, Long Chen could sense 
that he would still be able to fight even in Laio Benkeng's faith domain. It would no longer be directly crushed. Boss, boss, someone has come to challenge the wine god palace. Long Chen was in the middle of cultivating when Yuo ran ran over excitedly. Chapter 3680 Challenge Challenge Don't joke around. Who would challenge the wine god palace? Long Chen refused to believe it. It's true. They've blocked the gate of the wine god palace and set up a martial stage. Let's go. We've been watching the fun for a while before rushing over to get you, urged Guo Ran. Long Chen was very curious. When he was dragged over to the gate, he saw quite a few people around. The majority of them were peak divine lord disciples, and every single one of them was an expert with a powerful aura. There were also a few elders. They were late stage world kings and half step divine venerates. Despite that, they gave Long Chen an immense sense of pressure. They were also terrifying existences. Thousands of outsiders had come as well. They were just watching from a distance, clearly showing that they were only here to watch and not to offend the wine god, Palace. Over ten young men and women were standing before the gate to the wine god, Palace. Their auras were all extraordinary. Both the men and women were beautiful, but their arrogant airs were not attractive. Junior has crossed a great distance to pay respect to the wine god palace's seniors, but the wine god palace's seniors shut the door and refused to see me. Are you looking down on my tea divine school? Their leader was a man who already seemed impatient. His voice was cold and wasn't loud, but it was backed by his spiritual Yuan making it spread far and wide. It wasn't ear-piercing, but every word entered people's ears clearly. Although it was an intentional show of might, it showed that this person's spiritual Yuan was very pure. It was exceptional. Furthermore, his spiritual strength was also powerful, or he wouldn't be able to control the sound so perfectly. If young heroes traversed a great distance to come our wine god palace, would receive them politely. But everyone knows that the wine god palace's heart only contains the wine dao. If these young heroes came to discuss the wine dao, I trust that the seniors will naturally warmly greet you. But you came to compare the tea dao to the wine dao. That doesn't seem very appropriate, does it? There were a few apprentices in charge of receiving people in front of the gate. Their expressions were a bit ugly. These apprentices could only count as workers. But in the wine god palace, there was no differentiation in seniority or power. Whether it was Long Chen or the experts in the wine god palace, they treated these apprentices very courteously, treating them the same way as they treated themselves. All major daos are different paths to the same end. Tea dao, wine dao, what's the difference? At the highest realm, they are all the same. What? Does your wine god palace value your own Tao as the most precious? Aren't you simply shutting yourself off from the rest of the world? Asked that man. In the beginning, his words could count as polite. But the longer he went on, the sharper his words became. In the end, he was clearly mocking them. The wine god palace's apprentices were displeased. The wine god palace was a holy land, and every senior inside was worthy of respect. However, this person was trying to make things hard on them. They weren't angry, but this criticism of the wine god palace irritated them. These apprentices all had great self-restraint. One indifferently replied, perhaps your words are correct. I will transmit them to the seniors in the wine god palace. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon. Come clearly, he was telling them to scram. It was simply that he was very polite and not so direct. Senior apprentice brother King Yu, let's leave. They don't dare to discuss the Tao with us. Wine God Palace. Ah, uh how, -huh, what a fake name. They are just a bunch of drunkards. 
how are they qualified to discuss the Tao with our tea divine school said a woman amongst those disciples her sinister words immediately caused the expressions of those apprentices to change you are going too far when did discussing the Tao become insulting others even long chen guo ran and xia chen were enraged by this provocation these people really were courting death they didn't have the slightest respect in their hearts however they had come to discuss the Tao not to compete in martial might hence xia chen and guo ran didn't step forward if it was a martial competition the two of them would have long since beaten them up until they cried for their parents what do you mean by insulting others we are only telling the truth you don't even dare to discuss the Tao. are you afraid of exposing your own empty title sneered the woman disdainfully you those apprentices finally lost their patience long chen went out at this moment patting those apprentices shoulders what is the tea divine school how come i've never heard of them hearing this those disciples of the tea divine school were enraged the woman shouted brat who are you shut your mouth trash like you isn't fit to ask my boss's name who do you think you are how about i kill you all with a single slap Hua ran finally had a chance to interject that woman seemed to be frightened by Guo Ran's ominous gaze. It went without saying that after obtaining a supreme bone and after experiencing that immense battle, Guo Ran already had a certain sharpness in his eyes. His gaze was quite a bit stronger than before. Mr. Long Chen, their tea divine school is also part of our violet flame heaven. It was founded 367,400 years ago, explained one of the apprentices. Only 360,000 years of history? TCH, no wonder they raised such arrogant disciples. It seems that they want to make a name for themselves. All right, leave this to me. I'll teach them how to behave, said Long Chen disdainfully. A sect with only 360,000 years of history might be considered an amazing existence in the mortal world. However, in the immortal world, that didn't count for anything. That might not even be three generations of inheritance. Their founder was probably still alive and healthy. Such a sect might look to be flourishing, but it was lacking in foundation. It was just like a stalk of bamboo that looked to soar rapidly, only to be empty inside a new power like this actually dared to challenge the wine god palace whose inheritance stretched back tens of millions of years it was clearly an attempt to make a name for themselves long chen had seen many people like this they relied on challenging others to increase their own fame it was disgusting even if they lost the battle they would brag that they once discussed the Tao with the wine god palace. Even though they lost, it still benefited them. On the other hand, if the wine god palace rejected their challenge, they would say that the wine god palace didn't dare to discuss the Tao with them. Such people were extremely hateful. The wine god palace's experts couldn't be bothered to pay them any attention, but Long Chen wasn't the same. If these people were going to be so hateful, he wouldn't let them do as they please. I am the wine god palace's guest. My understanding of the wine Tao isn't very deep, but it should be enough to discuss the Tao with you. Since you came to discuss the Tao, you should also be clear on the truth. Let's skip the pleasantries and just start, said Long Chen lightly. All right. Then today, let us see whose Tao discussion is superior. That man called senior apprentice brother King Yu smiled. A sinister light appeared in his eyes. Seeing that gaze, a disdainful smile appeared on Long Chen's face. If he didn't properly teach these little fellows a lesson, they wouldn't know just how dangerous this world was.